What is going on, everybody? Hey, everybody! Draco Invictus here, and we are kicking off a brand new game to the channel, anyway. And it is Pathfinder Kingmaker. It's actually been out uh, a couple of years, of, uh, and uh, I guess uh, late 2019, they finished up with all their DLCs and stuff like that. And uh, the new... The, the essential, or not essential, but is pretty much going to be a sequel. I don't think it has the same characters and stuff, but it's like the sequel to this game uh, is coming out later this year. So I thought now would be a good time to uh, fire it up for 2021 and play it. I've never played the game before. Okay, I've played about an hour or so. Most of that time was spent building characters. Uh, checking out some of the different classes. I even went so far as to get onto the official Discord channel for the game and uh, talk with uh, people that had actually played it and kind of pick their brain because it's a very complex game. It is based on Tabletop Pathfinder, which is actually a tabletop game that's based on um, the 3.5 edition of Dungeons & Dragons. So yes, there's a lot to this game, and uh, so I got some advice from them. Um, I pulled you guys and uh, asked you guys uh, whether you wanted Divine or Arcane, and that's all I said. And um, it, it ended up being pretty overwhelmingly. It was over 60% said that they wanted Arcane. So that is the direction that we're going to go. And I've been kind of planning to... For both directions because I didn't know what you guys were going to pick. So um, we are going to obviously creating a new game. Uh, before I get started, a couple things. Uh, I am running a few mods. Nothing too crazy, nothing to make the game any easier. It's just making the game deeper, actually. Uh, adding new classes, new feats, all of those things. So I'm taking a complicated game that I've never played before and I'm throwing more crap into the game that I have to figure out. And on top of that, I've picked a class that I have no idea how to play it. So, yeah, you know, like I said, no promises that I won't get my ass handed to me. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into this because it's pretty extensive. So, um, obviously, there were um, some diff or some. The Beneath the Stolen Lands and Varnhold's Lot are both DLCs. So we will be taking a look at them at some point, not right now. So we're just going to do the main story. I'm leaving this on normal for now. Um, this game was made by Russians. <laughs> and their idea of normal is pretty rough. A lot, several people over the last few days said, you may want to start on easy. And I was like, no, 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 I, come on, it's normal. And they're like, no, 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 you don't understand. What they think is normal is actually like a 20% bump from what the tabletop is. So all the enemies will have more hit dice for hit points. They'll, ha they'll hit harder on normal. And there are people out there playing this thing on unfair and unfair is like ridiculous. I may, if I get a better feel for the game, I may actually step up to like challenging. We can change the difficulty at any time, but I'm just going to start on normal and uh, with whatever it's preset, you know, settings are, and we're going to go from there. All right. So of course we're creating a new character. And um, I, one of the things that I downloaded off of Nexus, okay, a couple of things I downloaded off of Nexus were portrait packs because the initial portrait packs end right here. This is the last character in the initial set of portraits. So everything after that is all stuff that I downloaded. And there's a lot, it's over 600 portraits. So, um, but the one that we're actually going for, for this character is actually right here. So that's fantastic. 
and uh, she's a spellcaster and a redhead to boot, so that's uh, that works for me. And why am I playing a female character? Because I'm going to be staring at that picture for upwards of 140 hours. So, um, yeah, I don't want to be looking at a dude the whole time. Come on. All right. Uh, moving on to race. Uh, these are all of the available races. Uh, Tiefling was added in DLC, uh, but we are actually going to be playing as an Asimar, which is a, uh, a hybrid. It's a bastard child from a celestial being and a human. Uh, so I'm half human, half celestial, much like Tiefling is half human, half infernal or fiend. So uh, we're going with Asimar because... It, there's different kinds of celestial beings. So, and picking that sub race is going to give us different statistics. All right, so we're playing as a female and uh, let's go face four. Let's lighten her skin to kind of match the picture here. Uh, hairstyle one is actually pretty good. We just need to adjust it there. Unfortunately, that's about as good as we're gonna get. So um, left-handed because, well, I'm left-handed, so. And I, it doesn't really matter. So, okay. So one of the things that I'm running is called Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild adds a ton of new classes. And the reason why I went with Call of the Wild is because when I was saying, hey, if I'm going to be an arcane spellcaster, what should I be? Should I be a sorcerer? Should I be a wizard? And they said, you should be an arcanist. And I went, not on my list. And they said, you need to download Call of the Wild because that's where the class comes from. And this class is ripped right out of the books as far as the tabletop stuff. So uh, as you can see, there is a ton of things that we're going to do here. And we are actually going to be a blood arcanist. Now, what makes an arcanist different than a wizard or a sorcerer? If you've played Dungeons and Dragons, you'll know the difference between a wizard and a sorcerer is a wizard is classically trained okay they they get their magic through study from books and tomes and scrolls and all those things a sorcerer it's innate it's in their blood it's around them and they just have an innate magical talent an archimist or an arcanist is a mix between the two uh there's some study so there's prepared spells i'm doing air quotes there and then there's the sorcerer side. Basically, I have a spell book. I have a large pool of spells that I can choose from. I have to put two into my book, but then I can cast those two spells in any combination that I want multiple times. So, and then Arcanists also have things, uh, this Arcanist exploits uh, that I have no idea about, but they said, oh yeah, you'll have a great time. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Now, if I went with just a flat out regular Arcanist, then every other level, I would get one of these exploits. But I don't get to take advantage of, uh, it, like it says here, though most Arcanists possess only rudimentary innate arcane, arcane gift, the blood Arcanist has the full power of a bloodline to draw upon. So uh, we're going to be getting bonus things based on our bloodline because we are an Asimar. So Blood Arcanist is the direction that we're going to go. Now here, we're picking our heritage, okay? There are two uh, skills that are important to an Arcanist, intelligence and charisma. So hopefully, Actually, okay, I, I shouldn't say hopefully. Hold on, let me come back over here. The Emberkin actually gives me a racial bonus to intelligence and charisma. Hey, hippie chick, welcome. So this sub race of the Asimar gives me a racial bonus for the two stats that I need as high as possible. So Emberkin is the direction that we're going to go. Uh, they also give a plus two racial bonus to on lore religion and knowledge arcana checks and can use the burning arc spell once per day. So I get a, a free spell just through my bloodline. So moving on to the next thing here, favored class. 
We're going to pick Arcanist, obviously. Each character begins play with a single favorite class of his choosing. Typically, this is the same class as the one he chooses at first level. Whenever a character gains a level in this favored class, he receives either one hit point per level or one skill rank per two levels. The choice of favored class cannot be changed once the character is created, and the choice of gaining a hit point or skill rank each time a character gains a level, including his first, cannot be changed once made for a particular level. And then it talks about prestige classes. We're not worried about those. Hi there, Miss Stella. Welcome. So Arcanist, obviously, because that is the class that we are uh, playing. So that's going to be my favorite class. Now, for some reason, Call of the Wild requires me to pick a deity. I don't know why. But um, I think... Um, I know that Nethys here... Oh, good. Okay, I can do... I can do Lawful Neutral. Hmm. Can I do a chaotic... I gotta find a chaotic good one. I gotta find a chaotic good... Because once you pick a deity, you have to be one of the alignments that it shows there in the prerequisites. Well, Gorum... He goes from chaotic good all the way down to chaotic evil. He's our lord, our lord in iron. He's a god of battle. Mm. But Desna, the green, the great dreamer, Lady Luck and Mother Moon, the goddess of dreams, luck, stars, and travelers, is among the most ancient of deities. Um, meh. Let's see here, Caden, Kalian. The god of alcohol, bravery, and freedom is one of the ascended. Um, let's see here. Because legend tells he passed the test while intoxicated. Uh, it doesn't really, really matter as long as I'm getting the alignment that I want. So, I don't know. I can just pick this one. Because I, I'm not worried about domains. I'm not worried about favored weapons. Because that's all for clerics. So, I'm just going to pick this one because, I don't know, it's a cool... Their icon is interesting. All right, so now we're moving on to our uh, bloodline uh, as far as uh, what we get as far as bonuses. Remember, they we are a blood arcanist. And the one I really want to go for is arcane bloodline. Family's always been skilled in eldritch art of magic. While many of your relatives were accomplished wizards, your powers developed without the need for study and practice. Magic comes naturally to you, but as you gain levels, you must take care to prevent the power from overwhelming you. Bonus feats of the Arcane Bloodline are Combat Casting, Improved Initiative, Iron Will, Reach Spell, Spell Focus, uh, Knowledge Arcana, or Skill Focus, Knowledge Arcana, Spell Focus, Greater Spell Focus, and Spell Penetration. And it gives us all these additional things. So we get become a Meta Magic Adept at level 9. We get New Arcana. You may add... Any one spell from the Sorcerer Wizard spell list to your list of spells known. Spell must be of a level that you're capable of casting. You can also add one additional spell at 13th and 17th level. So, um, and we are also, let's see, whenever you apply a metamagic feat to a spell that increases the slot used by at least one level, increase the spell's DC or defense, or what is it, defensive Class. It's like armor class, but it's the other side of it. It's for saving throws and stuff. By plus one. This bonus does not stack with itself and does not apply to spells modified by the heightened spell feat. So, Arcane Bloodline, that's the direction we want to go. Uh, and then we have um, our favorite class. We get to pick our skill rank partial. Uh, bonus Arcanist prepared spell partial. We can pick this now. And we could wait until we're like level five or six before we take the other half of it. So I think that's the one I want to do. Because this is actually going to give me an additional spell slot in my... Notice this is prepared spell. So it'll give me a greater pool of spells that I can put in my book. And I can take the next level of that soon so that I get instead of two in my slot I get three okay so intelligence and charisma are the two things that are we are primarily focused on 
Now we'll be traveling with a group, so I don't need to worry about becoming like a skill monkey and getting as many skills as possible. I just about don't want to be really, really good in the skills that I'm, you know, supposed to be good in. So intelligence is number one because that changes how many spells we can cast per day. So four or per period, rest period, whatever it is, not necessarily per day. So I want to bump that all the way up to 20. Now I want to get my charisma really high too, because again, that is a recommended ability uh, for my class. And it's going to help with my persuasion and use magic device. So I want to get those up well. So I can do it up to 17. Um, this, this uses a point by system. Okay. So to go from 10 to 11, it's going to cost me one point, right? To go from 11 to, oh, I can't do it now. Let me back this off. To go from 11 to 12 is one point. From 12 to 13 is one point. But from 13 to 14 is going to cost me two points. So even though we started with 25 points in our pool, it goes by, how do you get 29? Okay, I'm not complaining. Oh, I know why, because this is supposed to be here. Because th this is already adjusted for my racial bonus. Yeah, so 25 points. I don't care for the point by system. I am much more, let me roll three dice, six or four dice, six, you know, like old school Dungeons and Dragons. But the game is what it is. Now, of course, there is a mod called Bag of Tricks that uh, is kind of like a like a cheat toolbox. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. And there's alternative ways of rolling up your character within Bag of Tricks, but I'm not going to be doing any of that. At least not on my first playthrough. All right, so I want to get my charisma up high. Um, as a spellcaster, I am not worried at all about my strength, but... I think I'm okay with it at an eight and my dexterity. Um, I'd much rather, God, I'd much rather have the mobility. And I believe that at 12, What else am I going to dump in? Um, let's dump in. If I dump this down, I mean, four hit points. That's ridiculous. Like a, a brief wind is going to just kill me. I mean, but granted, six is <laughs> at ten. So, ugh. um, I think I'm going to. Let's bump that down to 16 because 16 and 17, nothing changes. I, my modifier doesn't go up anymore. It's only when I go down to 15, does it change? So I think I'll leave that at 16. That's going to give me three more points. Um, do, do, do. I think I have one point left that I need to assign somewhere. But this won't adjust anything. None of it will adjust. If they're all on evens, that's when you get the point. So bumping that to 13 changes nothing. I guess I'll just put it in strength. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now I have four points that I need to assign it to the different skills. So obviously I want one point and use magical device. Um, and then I'm going to do a point in Arcana. The other two points I'm going to assign, but we're going to come back because I plan on taking uh, some abilities that will give me like perception or persuasion as a class ability. So we'll readjust later. So remind me about that guys. Hey, barbarian, what's going on, buddy? And I want to welcome everybody to the stream. Uh, we are in the middle of building our arcanist, our magic user. So I cast magic missile 
If you guys don't know what that's from, I feel sorry for you. All right, so I'm going to burn these last two points in uh, lore uh, for now, and uh, we are going to come back to that. Because first, we have to pick a trait, okay? And we can choose a combat trait, equipment trait, uh, regional, religion, social trait. So I'm going to start with social trait. And I want to pick up, uh, or maybe, let's see, regional trait... Um, let's see. No, that's attack bonus. Looking for something that empathetic or empathic diplomat. Diplomacy check. In initiative checks. In a plus one bonus on diplomacy checks and consider persuasion skills a class skill. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Wait, what was that? You gain a plus one bonus on perception checks and perception. So, well, that's, that's perfect. Now, if I can find one for persuasion, I'm good to go. Because we have a second trait to fill in here. And I can't take another regional trait. That one's locked off. You can only have one. But let's see if we can't find one for perception. Or persuasion, rather. You can use your intelligence modifier in place of your charisma on diplomacy checks. That's pretty good. That's perception. Isn't that what we just picked with this one here? Yes, okay. So Seeker is essentially the same, just in a different trait category. Um, lore. Uh, bu uh, bluff checks. Wait. And persuasion is always considered a... Okay, but it's not a plus one trait bonus to persuasion. It's to bluff checks. Clever wordplay. You may use your intelligence now. Child of the Streets. I like Child of the Streets, but I'm not going to have enough points to play with that. You get a plus one trait bonus on trickery checks. Trickery is how you uh, disarm traps and stuff like that or open locks. And so this would make, if I pick this, it would actually make trickery a class skill for this character. Even though this character has nothing to do with thieving or anything like that. Because I am a child of the streets, you grew up on the streets of a large city, I developed a knack for picking pockets. So it's a cool little add-on there. Uh, you gain a plus one trait bonus on intimidate checks. Makes persuasion a class skill though. Persuasion is considered a class skill for you for the purposes of intimidate checks. And you may use your intelligence modifier when making intimidate checks instead of your charisma. That would be fantastic. But it only makes persuasion a class skill for the purpose of intimidate checks. Now. All right. So no to the social. Move on to religion, opportunistic. Gain a plus one trait bonus on attacks of opportunity. No. Uh, race trait. Treat your caster level as one higher when you cast spells with the good descriptor. I'm not going to be casting a lot of those, so no good there. Magic traits. Uh, you treat your caster levels one higher when casting spells with the air or electricity descriptor. Nah, maybe. You gain a plus one trait bonus on Knowledge Arcana. Knowledge Arcana is always a class skill. Plus one bonus to uh, Magic Device, which is already a class skill. You gain a plus two trait bonus on Concentration Checks. Pick one spell of third level or lower when you choose this trait. From this point on, whenever you cast that spell, it affects manifest at plus one caster level. There are so many spells I wouldn't... We could spend all damn night trying to just pick that. Pick a class when you gain this trait. Your caster level in that class gains a plus two trait bonus as long as this bonus doesn't raise your caster level above your current hit dice. Since we're not multi-classing... My caster level will always be my current hit dice, so Magical Knack is useless. 
Pick one spell of third level or lower when you choose this trait. When you apply meta magic feats to the spell. Now, again, I don't want to pick a, a spell right now. You may use your intelligence modifier when making use magic device checks instead of your charisma. That one's not bad at either. Let's see what else we've got. Just to be sure. Birthmark increases your devotion to your god. No. Lore nature. No. Trait bonus to lore religion. No. Plus one to diplomacy. Meh. We've seen that half a dozen times now. Whenever you're under the effect of luck bonus of any kind, that bonus increases by one. No. Trait, a plus one trait bonus on will saves. Meh. In a trait, a one plus one trait bonus on intimidate checks. Persuasion is always a class skill for you. Once per day, you may attempt to demoralize an opponent as a swift action. Okay. Reincarnated, you gain a plus two trait bonus on saving throws against fear and death effects. Whenever you channel energy, well, okay, we're not channeling energy. Gain a plus one trait bonus on knowledge world. No. Okay. Equipment traits. Uh, no. Combat traits. Let's start down here. Not using combat uh, expertise. No stealth checks. Fortitude save. Initiative. Using a dagger or a sword. Choose an energy type when you acquire this trait. When you are wearing, no, not wearing medium or heavy armor. When you hit a foe, you're flanking, no. Gain a plus one trait bonus on reflex, no. Damage rolls from sneak attacks, no. Obviously not armor expert. Gain a plus one trait bonus on all rolls made to confirm critical hits, meh. All right. Let's go, not bluff. I think I'm going to go with this on intimidate checks and persuasion is always considered a class skill. Or maybe I just go with this one. Persuasion is always considered a class skill and I could get to use my intelligence modifier. That's better than the plus one. So we're going to go with bruising intellect. All right, cool. Next. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So that loaded in, right? Arcane bond. Ah, uh, yes. My familiar. So I can pick a cat, a centipede, and they all have different bonuses depending on different things. Uh, the one I was really interested in was the Viper Familiar because it gives me a, a plus three bonus on persuasion checks and a plus two bonus on perception checks. So, and I know that those two things are, are kind of important. So I don't know why they're important. I just know that I was told that they are important. So Viper it is. Um, I thought we already... I'm so confused. Are we picking another one? I thought we already did. How many traits do I get? All right, sure. Oh my God, that's a lot of damn traits. Um, you know, something else that I'm not seeing Mr. Loco four pack. How you doing, buddy? So, um, do, do, do. I didn't think I was going to get that many traits. That's crazy. So you have faith traits, 
And then religion trades. I already said hi to you, Marcus. Yeah, this is, I mean, heirloom weapon. You carry a masterwork simpler martial weapon that's been passed down from generation to generation in your family. When you select this trait, choose one of the following benefits. Proficiency with that specific weapon. Plus one trait bonus on attacks of opportunity with that specific weapon. Or plus two trait bonus on all combat maneuvers when using that specific weapon. That Wow, that's... um. That's a lot of uh, weapon, weapon, weapon for a wizard. Well, okay, technically not a wizard, an arcanist, excuse me. Uh, my question is, is... You know what? Just give me this one. There's... Something's not right here. The reason I say that is because there was no That's all heritage stuff. Where are like my precise shot, point blank shot, normal like skills? Not seeing see they're calling these skills hmm all I know is that they were there last night So, hmm, let's try this again. Hold on. I want to come back here. I want to remember 9, 12, 12, 20, 10, 16. Okay. You guys remember that. I'm going to try it again. New game. Main story. Normal. Creating a character. Not that dude. Asimar. Female. Left handed. Face four. Skin tone lighter. Hairstyle brownish red. Class. Arcanist. Blood Arcanist. Next. Emberkin. Arcanist. Uh, we went with uh, this one. Arcane. Prepared slot. Next. Nine. This was 20. That I remember. This was 16. That I remember. And were we what? 12, 12? Is that what it was? That's what it was. Okay. Put our points in. Abilities. There we go. Okay. See, I'm telling you. Mr. Mark Jackson, how you doing, buddy? True flat. How you doing? All right. So I want precise shot. See, it even gives me a little green thumb. And what precise shot does is um when you're since i'm not going to be a frontline fighter right because i'm a spellcaster if the enemy that i'm aiming at is fighting with somebody else there's normally a negative four attack penalty for targeting them precise shot removes that attack penalty for all ranged weapons So that is why we want precise shot. 
now we can go through our feats, social, or it was, yeah, it was social. Bruising intellect. Then pick this trait. It was under what? Regional. Oh, it was down here. It was the, um, the veteran. There we go. Yeah, see, there's something weird going on. He's where did... Oh, there it is. Okay, Arcane Bond. Viper. There we go. Okay. So now we want regional... Veteran. Okay, so we got Precise Shot, Veteran, Bruising Intellect. We click Next. Whew, okay. Got it. So, the Arcanist, we get to pick their pool of spells, right? And we get, we get seven of them. Now, ultimately, we're going to focus in two classes, uh, Evocation and Conjuration. So those are, are, those are two schools of magic that I think I want my character to be, because I don't want my character to just sit back and, you know, you know, do like web. I mean, obviously I web if I need to, but, um, I want more of like a DPS kind of punch in the face with magic kind of a thing. So, um, those two schools of magic work well for that idea. So we're going to go burning hands. Uh, we're gonna fill out this whole slot here. A uh, color spray. Uh, do do do. Expeditious retreat because well, sometimes you just need to. Grease, great conjuration spell. And let's see here. And we'll go. Snowball. That's a ranged attack. Summon monster one. Because, well, why not? And I don't know why it tells me not to pick Magic Missile. I, I, am I supposed to be getting Magic Missile at some point? I don't see where I'm getting Magic Missile. So I don't know why it says not to pick Magic Missile. Class ability is the most useful ability for characters of corresponding because that's an evocation, so I don't get it. Well, you know what? I'm just going to pick it. Um, yeah, screw it. Okay, so let's see. I've got summon monster, snowball, grease, burning hands, color spray. Let's go with because some of my other companions are going to have uh, some spell ability too. So I'd much rather um, be similar to them, but not have the same exact spells. You know what I mean? So we're getting a, a wide variety of spells. So maybe cause fear. Yeah. Make them scared. Be afraid. Be very afraid. All right. So. Oh, and we also have access to all these cantrips. Those are zero level spells. So. Keep that in mind as well. We may be using days a lot. All right. Next. So let's listen to some of the voices. A trivial task. A mere flesh wound. I'll take care of it. Wherever my legs carry me, all I see is blackness. Wow. Hold on. Just a little more. Our path leads on. We shall overcome. Strike with all your might. I'm wounded. This doesn't suit me. No contest. 
Let us be careful. I feel faint. Aim carefully. Let's move already. I won't take that. Out of my way! Heal me quickly. None shall escape. I thought she was going to say none shall pass. No mistakes. This will hurt. No, I don't like pragmatic. This hurts so much. Uh, no. This is my chance to run. Damn this silly thing. Hesitation is a waste of time. Oh. I like cunning. All right, a uh, birth date. I don't know why this is important, but um, sure. Let's uh, just uh, pick a day in a month. All right. Character's name. Well, her name is going to be Midnight. If anyone can tell me what that is a reference to. Oh, well, big kudos to you. Okay, so Chaotic could. So we're done, right? Our character is complete. But I'm. Hold on, let me read through the chat here. No. No one reminded me to go back and fix my skills. Wow. See, look, perception, now a class skill. I wish persu persuasion was a class skill. Um, because I think I would rather have persuasion as a class skill than perception. Well, I guess I got to put a point somewhere. All right. So what did we get? Persuasion is considered a class skill for you for the purposes of intimidate. And you may use your intelligence modifier when making intimidate checks. See, that's not what I wanted. Hey, hey thanks, Gary. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, that's not what I want. There's got to be one that I will actually get in here. Like, like this one here. You get the plus one bonus to perception. I don't even care about the bonus again. Just let me have persuasion as a class skill. That would be fantastic. Thanks, True. Appreciate it, buddy. Persuasion. Yeah, see, this always considered a class skill for you for the purpose of... No. We've looked through all of this stuff, though. So bruising intellect, maybe that's just what we have to deal with. Well, I guess using my intelligence modifier when making intimidate checks instead of your charisma. I guess that's about as good as it's going to get. Okay. We don't need to worry about any of that. That's all done. Cover me. Okay. So. She is getting... Undo that one. I got to put points into persuasion, so. All right, now we'll come over here. So our persuasion's at seven, perception's at seven. Uh, knowledge arcana is 11. Use magical device is seven. That's pretty good. So we'll be able to cast four spells. And our saving throws suck. Our AC sucks. Our hit points suck. Yep, we're a spellcaster. All right. So that's, it only took 45 minutes. It only took 45 minutes. And just think, I did research ahead of time. Terrifying.
if anyone's looking for a fast game, this Our isn't it. started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Where are they? This is taking forever! It didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich fuck? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. I like her. Hush, quiet. They're coming. All right, Mark, have a great night, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salinius of Rustov. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I'd see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Rustov needs. All right, before I click on this any further, uh, let me just say I want to welcome everyone to the stream. Welcome, everybody. Um, I have not played this game before, and I'm sure most people in the chat have not played this game before. So if you have, I would really, really, really appreciate it if you wouldn't spoil it. Now, if I ask a question, hey, chat, uh, what about this or what should I do about that? And you have some sage advice then you are more than welcome to answer the question, but let's keep any spoilers and stuff like that uh, in the chat down to a minimum. And uh, we're going to be going through all of this stuff. So if you've seen the game before or played the game before, I apologize, but I know that there's a lot of lore in all this little conversations and stuff like that. So I want to get as much of it as possible. And I want to thank you all for all uh, that you're doing and hanging out. And thanks. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, None of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. That's going to be me. All right, dad joke. Why was the big cat disqualified from the race? Because it was a cheetah. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. Yes, exactly. Avoid that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? So she just said that no one claimed it, but this guy did. So basically she doesn't like her neighbor and she wants someone to take out her neighbor and then they get to become the new neighbor. Is that what I gathered? I think that's what I gathered. Oh, that is the perfect response from Magic 8-Ball. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Ah, he's a cheery fellow, isn't he? 
Madam, if I may please answer the question. She takes a long pause, waiting for the voices to die down as everyone directs their attention toward her. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. All right. Why not just recognize this stag lord as Baron? That's a good point. As I see it, this stag lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. There it is. Who has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here, and it won't while I still breathe. All right. You're helping us found a barony. What do you gain from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Yeah, I'm going to punt kick that dude. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster whores. Hmm. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? Hmm. Noticing you hadn't, uh, you've heard her comment, she winks at you coyly. All right, what rewards can we expect exactly? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Oh, and did I mention there's kingdom building in this where you can set up your own towns? Yeah, there's that too. Oh, and by the way, we could get 150 hours into this game and still fail and lose. Yep, there's always that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a great time. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. What's up, Dalton? Yeah, new game. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. All right, so that's everything. It's clear as day now. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. She wishes us luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. All right. Why didn't he have a little portrait picture thing? Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Um, I'm Midnight. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team and he's just after the Baron's crown or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This, this is the person I'll write my book about. A book. 
I am very happy that they also have voice actors. I hope it continues through the entire thing. Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? That's a very good point. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or, God's forbid, Tartuccio? No way. All right, not a bad plan. It's settled then. I'll accomplish the feats. You write them down. Deal. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. And in dialogue. Okay, so now we actually get to gain, we've gained control of our character. And let's uh, leave the hall, okay? Let's see what we've got going on here. So Burning Hands, Magic Missile, Acid Splash, Ray of Frost, Jolt, Daze. It has thrown a crap ton of stuff up on here that we can do. Disrupt undead, charge, aid another, dismiss spell, burning arc. Oh, that's the one that I get once per day. A light halo and fighting defensively. So this is what's on my belt. So I have a scroll of magic missile, a scroll of mage armor. Can I do anything with that? No? Okay. Scroll of Mage Armor. No? Alright. Scroll of Expeditious Retreat. Did she just plagiarize Arya Speedwagon? Heard it from a friend. <laughs> um, but, uh, sort of backhandedly, Dalton. And then another Scroll of Magic Missile. Okay, so that's in our belt. That's there on the B. These are our abilities. So, spell caster level increase. The Arcanist can expend one point from her Arcane Reservoir as a free action whenever she casts an Arcanist spell. If she does, she can choose to increase the spell caster level by one or increase the spell's DC by one. She can expend no more than one point from her Reservoir on a given spell in this way. Reject Rage. When this ability is activated, character will reject rage from external sources, like a rage spell or scald raging songs. Light Halo is from my Asimar effect. I can manifest a halo. They create a light centered on their head at will. While using a halo, they gain a plus two circumstance bonus on saving throws against becoming blinded or dazzled. Wow, that's actually really cool. Dismiss spell. This ability allows caster to dismiss an area of effect created by herself at the target location or dismiss a summoned or animated creature. Oh, that is fantastic. So like if I cast like web on the ground and then the fight's done and we would normally have to walk through the web and do all the saving throws, I can just dismiss it. That's fantastic. So then we got this bar over here. There are a crap ton of bars on this thing. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to... These are the spells that I've learned that are in my spell book right now, which are Burning Hands and Magic Missile. Okay. So, we are playing turn-based. Uh, I can turn turn-based on and off. So, I think for some fights, I'll want it off. Uh, for some, I'll want it on. I like turn-based. Uh, and what's the difference? So turn-based is everyone rolls initiative. And then we'll see up here across the top. It'll show everyone's little portrait and what initiative they rolled. And it'll go from person to person to person to person to person. Enemies, allies, all of it. 
and we each tear turns doing whatever actions, casting our spell or whatever. I like turn based, especially as a spell caster, because if I get a high initiative, that means that my spell gets cast before they even get to do anything. So I can oftentimes be a decisive, more decisive factor in a, in a fight as a spell caster with turn based mode. Now I'll probably turn it off when like we're at the end of a fight. Oh, there's just one spider left to kill and everyone's still alive and we're all good. I'll just turn it off and just let everyone like a free for all. But because you can also pause the game at any time uh, just with the space bar. So let's go ahead and tuck this back away. Um, and there's also several um, settings uh, that we'll want to take a look at. We can camp. Uh, we can go to our character sheet. So this is the same character sheet that we normally see. Here's our spell book. So as you can see, um, if we come here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So these are the two that we actually have like memorized right now. And we can use any combination of them. And then we have Lindsay's journal, which is essentially our log of our quest log. And then an encyclopedia, which I may be going to from time to time. And then of course our map. So let us um, get out of here. To move the camera, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I am also another mod I'm running. Allows me to pivot the camera. I was just told that I might want that at some point. So I installed it. We need to help, okay? Some felons broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. That's no good. All right, nice scream in the hallway. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, am I? Combat. Uh, combat happens in real time, but you can pause the game while we're not doing real-time combat. Uh, dice rolls. Most of the game's mechanics are based on the Pathfinder role-playing game system and use dice rolls to determine the results of actions. The most common die has 20 sides and is used for both checks and attacks. When a battle starts, each combatant makes an initiative check. The higher their initiative, the earlier the character can act. Initiative scores can be viewed in the combat log. Combat is divided into rounds, with each round lasting six seconds. All right, Gary, sounds good, buddy. I'll be here for a while. Have a great night. All right, attack rolls and attack is characters tip to strike, blah, 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 blah. The damage of damage dealt, armor class. The higher a character's armor class, the more difficult it is to successfully attack them. It combines many factors such as equipment stats, dex bonus, passive abilities, etc. They should have known better. And here's where it talks about turn-based mode. Uh, characters act in turns. The order of turns is determined by the initiative check and depends on the character's corresponding ability score. Then you have an initiative queue. The order of turns is based on the initiative check at the beginning of combat. The higher the initiative of the character, the lower they are displayed in the queue on the screen and the earlier they act. You can delay your character's turn until a more convenient moment. To do this, select the character whose turn you want to delay in the queue. Such actions in the initiative queue are irreversible, and the new initiative score is saved for the character until the end of combat. All right, Barbarian. During their turn, a character can make a single standard action, a single move action, a single swift action, and an unlimited number of free actions. All these actions together take six seconds of real time with the quotes. Most often a move action is used for movement or drinking a potion, a standard action for attacks, spell casting or additional movement, and a swift action for activating special class abilities. Other combinations are also possible. There's also so-called full round actions, which consume both your standard and move actions. 
By default, the system chooses an optimum combination of action types to perform your command. You can change your combination using the right mouse button. Surprise round, if you initiate combat with an opponent who's unaware of your presence, your party gets an advantage of surprise round. During this round, your characters can take a limited number of actions while the opponent cannot act. That's awesome. And then it goes on to talk about move actions, standard actions, full round actions. A five foot step. A character can move five feet without triggering the enemy's attacks of opportunity. A character cannot both take a five feet step and make a regular movement in the same round. Hold left shift to use the five foot step instead of the standard move action. Remember that left shift. Free and swift actions. These actions are used to um, activate character special abilities such as smite evil, judgment, a touch attack after casting a spell, and many others. You can hold control to ignore enemies and other objects under the cursor to precisely select a perfect position to move a character. All that. Okay, so up here is our little cue. So he attacked first, and now it's our turn to attack. And then we would move into round two. So, um, uh, do we even have a weapon? We have a crossbow. Nice. Not that we're going to be using it right now. But uh, I want to use, like, burning hands. Oh, he saved. So, if we look over here, I dealt one damage to him because he rolled a saving throw. So now I can actually move, but no matter where I move, he's gonna come get me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it finish. Ow, what a jerk. Actually, let's just do um, Acid Splash, Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost. Ooh, he didn't like that. Dude, I've only got like seven hit points, man. Acid splash. Yeah. Ah, oh, there he goes. All right. Cool. Now we can loot his body. Okay, this is worth 25 gold and weighs 25 pounds. So one gold per pound. Not a very good investment. This is a one-to-one. -one. So honestly, the dagger is not any better. I'm not going to pick any of that up because I'm going to find myself way over encumbered really quickly if I do. All right. She went that way, but I see an open door here. Let's come in here and look. Oh, see, I'm glad we did. All right. Weighs three pounds. Sells for 19. I like that. We'll leave the dagger... Bloodstone and the coins. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what is this? Incense, a valuable luxury item. A merchant would pay well for it. All right, collect all. Let's go into this room. Because obviously she wants to go this direction, so... We want to go whatever direction she doesn't or doesn't want to go. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Words are hard. Ooh, what do we got? Old map of Avistan. Old coins. And the curse of ancient Iobera. All right, it'll sell. That's all I'm worried about. All right. Anything else in this room? No. Now we'll come out here and talk to her. They got someone. We have to help. Oh, is it Tartuccio? Oh! Lindsay's a stud! See, she's not part of my, my group yet, so I, I can't control her. Um, let's see. What do we want to try? Let's go acid splash on this guy. Oh, take that. 
Then I'm gonna back off here. Ooh, he hit Lindsay. All right, I'm gonna just shoot with his crossbow. Let's see how I do. Your death. Oh! A bit longer, and I'd have been. I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound, and unscathed, ready to lead you to victory. Ugh. Lady Jamandi's holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen land. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. <laughs> work to defend me, little shit. That dude is nothing but a blood splatter. What do you have? Just a dagger. All right. We're not taking daggers. Let's uh, take a look at our equipment, though. Where's this ring? This ring grants its wear a plus one bonus to armor class. This is a deflection bonus that does not stack with other deflection bonuses. Uh, yeah, I'll put that on. Heck yeah. And now we can take a look at... Oh, your inventory, by the way, other than what they're carrying on them, it's all a shared stash, so that's good. Right now, we're, we're light encumbrance, so no penalty. And uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything on him. He's got some potions. What does she have? A uh, scroll of cure light wounds and a scroll of cure moderate wounds. Nice. All right. Uh, we'll search this guy's body. Nothing else there. Looks like we're going this direction. There are several companions in your party now. Select single character. Okay, so I can press like Alt 1, Alt 2, 3. You can hit backspace, or I think. I and obviously. Take from the rich and take from the poor. It's but, my way of supporting equality. <laughs> that's funny. You can click on each one, or it's also Control A. We'll also select everybody, so. All right, so we've got some baddies over here. They don't see us yet. So. Burning arc. How close do I have to be? Ah, uh, damn it, they saw me. Oh well. A terrible mistake. Ooh. Lindsay and Tartuccio are capable of casting spells. Yeah, we already learned that. Abilities, yeah, we saw all of our abilities. Attack of opportunity, tactical mode. Hold shift space to slow down the time and better control the course of a battle. Oh, they took me out. I'm unconscious. I'm actually at negative three. Holy crap. Serves you right. All right, Tartuccio. Oh, I torched her too. Whoops. All right. I think I'm going to make these guys come to us. This was not supposed to oh, oh my God. <laughs> Am I going to die already? I got here. Reject rage. Yeah, I don't think a cure light wounds is gonna fix this problem. You deserved it. All right, let's uh, move her to here. Oh, I can't. That's the extent of how far I can move her. That's not very far. All 
All right, Lindsay, it's all on you. And she missed. All right, skip, skip, skip ahead. This is where I step. In. I think I'm almost dead. Yeah, negative five. See, I'm losing the point. When I hit negative seven, it's game over. Wow, I died in the tutorial. Yeah, normal. I'm playing on normal mode, people. All right, skip, skip, skip ahead. Come on. Ah. Oh. Yeah, she's almost dead. Oh, Jesus. Any last wishes? Oh, what a huge miss. Swing and a miss. All right. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Yep. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Stop, 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 stop. For the love of God. How do I, really, how do I load? Are you kidding me? Yeah, negative 10. Oh, oh, now she's dead, dead. Stop. I, get me out of this. There we go. Load game. Wow. That was... Wow. I'm on normal difficulty, people. Holy crap. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, everyone get out your bingo cards. Yeah, we're gonna kinda skip skip ahead on this part. Help, help. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Scream. Dude comes in. Not going anywhere. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, yeah, next. <laughs> yes, tutorial death. It's fantastic. She's actually really good with that crossbow. The way seems clear. All right, we'll just collect all this stuff again. Yeah. We, I'm, I'm so glad the tutorial went over this part twice. We're not running. We're coming for you. Prepare for battle. I'll loot your corpse. Stab their backs. Cover me. You're just in time. Lady Jamal. All right, speak. skip all that. Nothing there. Collect all that. Oh, he gave me that ring. I want to put that ring on. What's this do? That's just the copper ring, so it doesn't really do anything. We can just sell it. All right, so here we are yet again. So, 
let's try this a little bit differently. Magic missile, that guy. I should have known better. Ouch. Um... Bunch of fatigue, days, jolt, days. Um, this guy. Oh, he saved. Damn it. Now, can she walk over? No, she can't do anything. All right, Tartuccio. Um. Leave this one to me. Oh, at least. Uh... Serves you right. Well, at least we hit them all. I miss. This guy's gonna come stab me in the heart. Oh, he missed. All right, perfect. Ah, oh, damn, he saved. I'm gonna get my own butt out of the line of fire here. Yeah. All right. Time to get my hands dirty again. No. You deserved it. You out of our <laughs> All right, and we'll move her. Over here. This guy still wants to fight. He just watched his buddies get exploded. Oh, you can shoot Tartuccio. That's totally fine by me. All right, and let's go Jolt. Nice. Yeah, we are hurting bad. But look at all these potions that we just got. Ways to cells for eight. Yep. Padded armor. No, ways ten only sells for one. Screw that. Anything else in here? Oh, we got this guy over here. Um, belt, no, inventory. Oh, there we go. Much better. All right. Oh, that was a cure moderate wounds. That's why. The door here. Hide armor, no. A heavy mace, no. We'll take the mace because maybe one of the other players can use it. But I imagine they all have their own weapons and stuff like that, so. Well, we'll take the coins and we'll take all of that. Quiet footsteps. No. 
just a normal silver ring, but what do we got in here? Some fish and I'd say a cooking almanac, moss, fowl, butter. Well, if we're going to be camping, I imagine that we're going to need food, right? That's the barbarian. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Oof. All right. So it is Lindsay's turn. Any last wishes? Damn. under my feet or I'll strike you down. Blood for Gorum! And she Bye takes off. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What, stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. Well, we can at least loot the bodies. Leave the daggers. Um... We already went into that room. We need to go this way. Oh, they're not saying anything. What in hell's name is that? Whoa. He just ran over that dude. Oh, shit. Hope we don't have to fight that guy. What do you call a duck that gets all A's? A wise quacker. Hey, at least we can loot this guy's body. And we don't need the club or the padded armor. We'll just take the potion. All right, um, let's see. Six pounds, two gold. A long sword, four and four. Potion of enlarged person. And a potion of cure light wounds. And a spear. Guess we're not going this way, huh? Passage is blocked. You can't make your way through. All right. Oh, what's this? A skill check. Okay. I need dexterity. Anything else? So glad I had a bard. Oh, look. More assassins. I always have the upper hand. Let's hit him. Actually, I think I'll just shoot him. Your death awaits. Or not. Oh, I hit him anyway. All right, Lindsay's turn. Damn it. Tartuccio. Wow, a 20 versus a five. Lindsay gets to attack again. This is where I step in. All right. I don't know why I'm delayed. Yes. All right, now it's my turn. I'll loot your corpse. Nice. All right, potion, potion. 
Uh, two pounds eight. Yeah, we'll take that. That's easy. Armory. Oh, there's lots of stuff here. We got a masterwork light mace. Well, hell, at the very least, it sells for a hundred. I'll take that. Take the the bow sells for a hundred as well. Damn. Got over here. Thirty-five pounds sells for sixty-two. That's not even two gold per pound. And that's not two gold per pound. But do, uh, oh, you have to ask eight ball a question there, true. What do we have here? A key. <laughs> that's what you get for not asking it a question. It just tells you no. A tower shield. Um. It, no, it weighs 45 pounds. Only sells for seven. What's this over here? What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries. All things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. Jesus, is this guy a thief or a mage? Maybe what? he's both. No, we're heroes, not thieves. Do I really need to ask a question? <laughs> oh, I didn't even laugh. <laughs> Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. Yeah. Stealing from a sword lord in her own mansion. How would she know it was us and not the assassins? Unless someone planned on telling her. Don't drag me into this. You do what you want, but I'm not taking a single coin. Yeah, no, I, I think we'll draw the line at actually, like, stealing gold from our, uh, our host. <laughs> People got your number, man. It's over here in the corner. Anything? No? We can use the camera to look around? Still no. All right. faces i hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow it's me jathol i don't recommend advancing down the hallway assuming you value your life of course there were a few people with me and you can see what happened to them and just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch i'll answer but briefly and just once Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. Undead? Interesting. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or... As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side. Are you a vampire? We have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. Is she a vampire? Uh, oh, she's joining us. Fair enough. Traps. Okay. Why is everyone moving so slow? Is there no? We're still light inventory. I don't know why everyone's moving at a snail's pace, but. All right, collect all that. Anything else in here? No. All right. Back into the hall. Ah. Go get it, Lindsay. Applause, please. 
Um, for doing. Wow. Sweet lord. All right, just everyone come up this way, please. There's another door here. Let's go ahead and have her pick the... Fix the trap. Anything else? Yeah, come open this door. Ah, see, look, we got stuff in here. Uh, no. And no. footsteps any more traps I don't want to like walk too far ahead oh just a body scroll of bless scroll of shield of faith cool found a scroll single use item that allows you to use the spell that's written upon it for a character to use it that character must have the use magic device skill or be of the class which you could eventually learn to cast the spell for convenience it's best to place things like scrolls into characters quick slots fair enough oh we have an assassin Adventure Lindsay that. shoot that dude Um, Lindsay. I wrote it like I saw it. Your piercing scream. No, no. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, there was an event that had to trigger first. That's why she couldn't shoot him. Has to be in here somewhere. We'll hurry up before someone's coming. Oh, someone's coming. Hey, Seriously, could she walk any slower? What do you have here? Divine favor, inflict light wounds. Well, they're not within touch range. Aid another, dismiss spell. Judgment. Uh, apparently she's just gonna stand there. Okay, there's gotta be a way, hold on, options. Um, quick movement that's on. Ah, increase party animation speed. Now let's bump that up to two, and we'll bump up the enemy animation speed as well. There we go. Let's see if that does anything. Oh, yeah. Swing and a miss. Lindsay. Serves you right. Nice hit. All right, now come in here. Oh, yes. So glad I turned up the animation speed. My turn. Stab their backs. Nice. All right. Well, we all hit. I only did two points of damage, but then again, I am using a cantrip. Oh, she has a 19 AC. Unworld. Oh! Out of my way! All right, Lindsay, shoot him in the back. Attack of opportunity on me too? What a bastard. Oh, he can't hit worth a shit. Wretched thing. I'm thankful for that. Leave this one to me. Alright, um, that's another thing I need to turn off here. Um, let's see here.
Um, I want it on the camera, maybe. Turn-based mode. Here we go. Auto interrupt. Move the camera to the acting character. Let's turn that off. Or maybe lock the camera. Let's turn both of those off. Save it. I don't need it bouncing. I don't need them to be the center of attention, especially when the fight's all right here. Cover me. Oh. All right. What do we have in here? We got chess. A rusty horseshoe. A merchant would pay well for this. Okay. Silver disc. Sure. So. Oh, we've got two statues here. I will not be trifled with. Hmm. All right. More statues with swords. Oh, it interacts with both rooms. Okay, so when this one's sword goes up, this one's sword goes up. These two alternate. Oh! Oh, all the swords are up! <laughs> nice. We hit a secret room. Uh, I don't know what any of that is, but we're taking it all. Because no one's saying anything about it. We're not bringing up a conversation. So when people start bringing up the conversation of, hey, let's steal this thing. Alright, everything looks good there. It's, um... the hell do we get out of here? Um, oh, this door over here. Exactly. Ooh, something shiny. Oh, we're outside. Oh, who do we have here? More assassins. See if I can take a shot at one of these guys. Let's make this quick. Oh, he's dazed. Nice. That worked. Ooh, now I get to attack again. Oh no, it's Lindsay. Any last wishes? Wow, that was a swing and a miss. She can't get to either one of them. Oh shit, there's a third guy here. Alright, Lindsay, you go after this guy. Nice. He's going after the vampire. Fair enough. Despicable. Vampire missed. Your death awaits. 
Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, she did not. All right, Lindsay's turn. Nice. Ha. Everything is so much fun with a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you're here. A bit boring, chasing fool assassins without anyone watching the show. Nice. It's not fun at all. Many people have died for nothing. You sound like a Kelashite, am I right? Of course. I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. All I right. like making new friends. Sure. I am Kayesi, one of the many here who seek a better fate, answering the call of Lady Jamandi. But unlike the others, I never dropped my guard, day or night. It's why I'm still alive. I don't know where you're heading, but I'll be at the entrance to the main hall. I think I saw some guards there. Join <coughs> me there, if you wish. And she's gone. All right. We go that way? No. Oh, that's the other side that we were on before. Okay. The way seems clear. Anything in here? No. 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 All right. Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. Um. That's impossible. Oh, it, uh, it seems you might be right. Great. A dwarf who has a, um. Like, always believes he's going to die. Yeah. It, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we <laughs> remain in this transient world, Aaron is at your service. All right. So we got ourselves a cleric, I guess. Well, yeah. I was lost in thought. Let's all move, shall we? There we go. Formations. Group formation is half of any victory. Formation system will help you hold the line. Hold the line! Click this button, select one of the standard formations, or you can create your own. Hell yes, I am creating my own. This button here. Okay, so... Having the spellcaster, um, that's weird. Ah, here we go. Okay. Having the spellcaster at the at the front, probably not a good idea. Let's put uh, the vampire chick up front. We'll put the priest right next to her. And then I'll be like right here. We'll put Lindsay and Tartuccio off on the sides a little bit, right? So we'll have like a wing formation with our monk kind of hang or not monk uh, cleric hanging off on the side. All right, that's my first formation. I like it. Oh, here we go. Oh, guards. Careful now. You, run and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. All right. Aha. Some of our guests survived. Good. 
You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. All right, who are you? Tested house Gares, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Algori. Right now, I'm in charge of the mansion guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. I bet. If I were a rich and influential lady like Jamandi, I'd also get myself a manly captain of the guard or two. And what's going on here? Someone opened the gate, let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. All right. Considering Lady Jamande's fate, I'm not surprised that a whole pack of assassins were unleashed on her, including a giant. But what's at stake? What could anyone hope to gain? Uh, do you need help putting out the fire? No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here, those who still live. Your place is by Lady Algori's side. Okay. That doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. Uh, where's the hall? You'll have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. Got it. I'll go immediately. Fire doesn't frighten me. Thanks to hell's blood running in my veins. I'll go ahead and wait for you on the other side. Catch up. All right. Abadar, keep you safe. Sure. Whoever Abadar is. Go through the fire. And so our adventure started earlier and much more tragic than we'd expected. The whole team who'd gathered in the hall yesterday had been reduced to but a handful of brave souls, led by Midnight and not at all by that scoundrel Tartuccio, no matter what he might have imagined of himself. Jamande Aldori was waiting for us, but we had to get to her. We'd have to march through fire, literally. As we approached the burning building, we drenched ourselves in with buckets of water. Alas, there was no safe passage. The villains who'd attacked the mansion knew what they were doing. The only path to the banquet hall led straight through the fire, which kept spreading despite the guard's best efforts. Having ascertained this, we covered our noses. Oh, I hit the wrong button before. Oh no. We shouldn't have wasted our time looking for another path. Well, I see I hit the wrong button. I wasn't paying attention, damn it. While we did, the fire caused extensive damage to the mansion. As soon as we entered, we heard a horrible cracking sound as the flaming wall next to us quickly slanted, threatening to fall on our heads. With no time to think, we darted away from the wall, attempting to avoid the flaming debris. We ran forward, hoping to make it under the wall before everything crashed down. Or one of us pressed up against the wall, trying to hold it up a bit longer. One of us heroically pushed the others forward, taking the weight of the blow themselves. Let's try mobility 12, huh? Hey, we succeeded. Gained 11 experience. Nice. I don't know what saved us that day. Maybe the gods or luck or just our own dexterity, but the flaming logs and red hot bricks didn't hit any of us. The way back was blocked, but we weren't turning back anyway. We only had one other way to go. All right. The hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke, but midnight led us stubbornly through the flames while Tartuccio did nothing useful at all. We'd made it to the hallway, leading us to the banquet hall when we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie, one of the guards I'd chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. Even then, in that calm setting, I had been stunned by her beauty. But now, amid the smoke and flames, she looked like a celestial avenger, an armed deity, menacing but beautiful and merciful, descending from the higher spheres to help us poor mortals. She held a burned, barely living guard in her arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed us by. They're wounded. Help me pull them out. Tartuccio grumbled something about how Jamandi was waiting for us. Meanwhile, Midnight rushed to save the guards from the fire. I failed my athletics check because I'm like a strength seven. Saving the poor fellows was harder than it seemed. We inhaled a lot of smoke and burned ourselves more than once before managing to pull them away from the fire. Only then did Valerie pause to catch her breath and wipe the sweat from her face. Thank you, that was truly noble of you, she said. And now let us rush to Lady uh, Aldori's aid. 
Ensuring the guards were rescued, we relatively safe, we made our way to the hall where the battle was already in full swing. And um, we've taken a wee bit of damage here. Um, let's, what is this? Aid other. Does he not have any freaking healing spills? I mean, aid other. I'm looking to like, come on, man, you get nothing. Oh, here we go. Use heal skill. All right, it's better than nothing. Because we'll heal Goofus. Oh, wait. A treat deadly wounds or treat affliction. Treat and affliction means to mend a single diseased or poisoned character. I guess we'll do this one here. Um. I don't tolerate fools. Uh, apparently, I can't heal him. Okay, he keeps telling me. I'm not allowed to heal Tartuccio? Is that what the deal is? Alright. Screw it. Apparently, he doesn't want to work. One of your characters is fatigued. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I should fix... All right, did we miss anything? Oh, wow, look at all this we missed. No, 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 no. Okay, Valerie. I am your shield. Oh, good. I was wondering if you needed a shield. Um, you are a vindictive bastard. That's kind of rude. A reliable comrade in battle. Proud Valerie rejects her destiny as a paladin, instead leaving the order behind to find her own way in life. Her loyalty to our cause is only matched by her divine beauty. True, she can be a touch arrogant at times, but I always feel safe. What is a vindictive bastard? The divine caster. So she's not a paladin anymore, but she's still a cat. That's confusing as all get out. All right, um, inventory. What are you rocking here? So she's got a heavy shield. And a masterwork longsword. All right, so I don't think she needs anything. That, by the way. Silver medallion, okay. We need to put her into the formation. And since she is, like... She's going to lead our charge, right? She's got the shield. She's our tank. There we go. All right. We're going to form up. Okay. So, um, I was wondering if we needed to pick up the shield for her, but we do not. One of the other mods I am running is called Cleaner. Because your save files can get... Um, a little bit bloated with all this extra stuff because the game remembers all of the stuff. If I determine that I absolutely do not want any of the stuff left in this area, I can hit clean and it removes it all. So that way to help uh, the save file not get so bloated, uh, that's what that's for. So now we can leave. Oh, got a hell of a fight going on here. Reinforcements are already on the way. Say your prayers, scum. All right, we have to help Jamondi fight the assassins. So we have our group here. So we've got three Rift Channelers, a Bowman, the assassin leader. He's probably the one that we really want to go after. So, let us magic missile his ass. Go, go. 
As you can see, our little vampire, and then all these guys, and then Lindsay, and then we're at the very, very end here. So, um, I am, let's, I'm gonna have her start this way. All right, so now we are at Lindsay. Um, let's see. Oh, inspire courage. Let's do that. She is a bard after all. Nice. All right, Valerie, our tank. Next is a little turd. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I skipped him. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, what do you got going on here? Eight another char. Oh, bless. There we go. Alright. Unworthy. Nice. Oh, I cast mirror image. Alright. All right, Lindsay, your turn, assassin leader. Serves you right. Ah, uh, she hit one of his mirror images. Uh-oh. All right, my turn. Um, let's go with, I guess we'll go with Jolt. I'll loot your corpse. Oh, hit another mirror image. Nice. Leave this one to me. Just die already. Oh, he's like totally useless. And let's have him move over here. Ow. He said, ow. <laughs> Miss. Protection from good. Was that spell? You it. You out of our story. Damn. Um, let's see here. Days. Yeah, that hit. Ah, oh, come on, Valerie. Oh, what do you do? Kick him in the shin? I mean, not that I'm complaining. Wretched things. Oh, cause fear, really? Any last wishes? Nice shot. I think I'm feared. Am I feared? I'm shaken and fatigued. I'm shaken, but otherwise I'm good. A terrible mistake. And now I'm down. Let us strike as one. Time 
In melee combat, you can help a friend attack or defend now. That's just his bless. Coup de gras, demoralize. You gonna do anything? Oh, leader's down. Nice. Advance. All right, let's get through these guys. He pulled something. Oh, Amiri comes in. Oops, I think I just hit the vampire in the ass. Yeah, I'm down. Out of my way. All right. Harem, um Treat deadly wounds. Hey, it worked. I'm not going to die yet. Where are we at? Vampire chick. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. All right. Shot him in the ass. Do not nice. I wanted to do. Oh well. Oh, I had a nice little attack here. opportunity. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Damn. Oh, I don't know who she was shooting at. Yeah, I can't do anything. All right, get it, Valerie. Nice. Now we just got this guy and that guy left. Cartuccio, target this guy. Your life ebbs low. Unworthy. Nice. Leave that dude in two. Nicely done, Lindsay. Hey, and I'm back up. All right, let's take that, that. I don't know what that was that I just picked up, but we'll check it out in a second. That, that, that. How are the bows? Two and eight. Nothing good, studded, padded, no. Nothing magical or anything, no. All right, Avengers assemble. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. 
And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. I could use a rest. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why she wasn't killed. The bandits recognized her as one of their own by this signet ring. <laughs> you little turd. I'm going to go with the diplomacy. In the middle of the attack, Failed. he took off the very ring that would guarantee his safety just to set you up. Possible, but Damn not it. convincing. I failed the diplomacy check. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. Damn. They both came to your aid, Lady Jamandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. Or you could be. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air. After you promised you'd wait. Yeah, good point, Lindsay. My words might be rash. I bet my life despise anyone but this woman. I saw how she dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with her through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand. He's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy! Fair enough. Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed her true colors. She forced us to break into the armory and rob it. You little turd. Considering the circumstances... Ah, that succeeded that time. That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. Sorry, but your words display a lack of wisdom. Oh, apparently Harem doesn't like me. What about that trick she pulled right before we came in here? Um. She knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, she dallied as long as she could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. She was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Yeah, we're going neutral good here. Really, Cartuccio? You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? <laughs> yeah, suck it, Tartuccio. From ever having to make such a choice, but she behaved decently as a true leader. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. The vampire doesn't like me. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen lands. Fair enough. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the stolen lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? Ooh, pick me, pick me. If my leader allows, hey. I will join her team. She seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Uh, that means I have no healer. 
I'm screwed. Our is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. Okay, that's a big shocker that the two people that didn't like me don't want to go with me. Ugh, Tartuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. All right. As for me, I know neither of these two. At least not well enough. And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restoff and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the stolen lands, but not yet. All right. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this woman. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. I really like this one. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. All right. We also received camping supplies and rations times four and a signed scroll of Ray's dead. Yes, because that's what level one characters get. Sure. Okay. <laughs> no, I I'll take it. I believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be points. Three months. There's our time frame, ladies and gentlemen. Three months. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restall. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Why does a chicken coop only have two doors? Because if it had four doors, it'd be a chicken sedan. We heard that one last night. Wah, wah. Welcome back, Barbarian. End dialogue. All right. Sometimes the character... Oh, I didn't get to read that part. And that is the end of the tutorial. I can't believe we died. A terrible night. Our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. Who in the hell is that? I mean, Lindsay, Amiri, who in the hell is that dude? A repeat dad joke. <laughs> All right. So we have three months to figure out who the spy was. That's, I think that's how that works. Um, Show location names. Yeah, rest up. Okay, cool. Before we get rolling on this, I need to take a quick bio break. So if you guys will allow me to step away momentarily. And, um, yeah, he's definitely trying to roll one over on you, Barbarian. <laughs> Did I welcome you back, by the way? Uh, I'm going to take a quick bio break. So I will be right back. Enjoy the music and, uh, and the little scrolling banner. As soon as I tell my phone to wake back up. There we go. All right, guys, I'll be right back.
Breaking news, Energizer Bunny arrested, charged with battery. I like it. <laughs> All right. All right, so back into the game we go. And I guess we click on this little arrow here. It says stop. We need to heal. Oops. There's someone on the road. Random encounter. Oh, crap. Thank you, Barbarian. Appreciate it. <laughs> Marcus. Time to rob them of their treasures. Oh. What the hell is that? It is a... Hylocene. Okay. This is where I step in. Amiri. God, we have no healer. Oh, I am so screwed. Who's next? Valerie. Now me. Stab their backs. Serves you right. Oh, man, I'm telling you, Lindsay's a crack shot with that thing. Oh, <laughs> it just exploded. Stay behind me. Let us strike as one. All right. Nice. I can't keep this up much longer. You deserve it. Rest. Yes, no kidding, rest. I tried doing that before we hit this random encounter. What do we got? Nothing? Skin it. Okay. We got some skins. Collect that. All right. Let's all group together here. we can make it to this Oleg's place. I think we made it. Yes. Let's enter the location. Uh, it's all quiet here. I don't like how Lindsay's way out there on her own. Let's um, 
Valerie. Since she's our tank. There. That's better. I hear talking. Quiet footsteps. Bandits. The name of the stallion lord the <laughs> lawful authority in the stolen lands. We demand this week's tax and some beer. And where's that pretty wife of yours, Oleg? She should serve us dinner. Quiet down, dimwit. Oleg, we're just here for the stag lord's tax. Hand over the money. We'll be on our way. Uh, you want, you want to drink some of my blood too? I'm sick of you. You're like locusts. You think you control everything around here just because you put up the painted rag of yours. You come here, squeeze us dry, and come up. Oleg, a large man with a rough face, stops talking when he notices. Ah, you must be the guest from Restov. Uh, what's going on here? Isn't it obvious these thugs are robbing us honest settlers? They say they're ta or taking some tax for their leader, the stag lord. But I don't swear allegiance to any stag lords. I pay my taxes to Restov. But Restov is too far away, Olav, and the stag lord is so close. As for you, the young, dark-haired woman squint angrily at you. Get out of here before it's too late. This is our land. We own it. Our duty is to protect the trading post. Don't waste your breath on scum like this. Not interested in bloodshed, but I won't let you rob this man. Be on your way, and I'll let you go in peace. All right, we'll leave. But what makes you think we won't just return with greater numbers? Why would we leave when we got easy pickings from Restov before us? We'll rip out your guts and empty your pockets. To and victory! You're playing with the auto end turn option enabled. This option allows the game to end the turn automatically when a character finishes their standard and move actions. Yes, I want to keep that enabled. Because I do want to keep it moving. All right, so Miri, you're first. What do we got? Bandit, bandit, bandit. Go, ooh, charge this guy. Charge here. Oh, oh shit! Do not falter. All right, Lindsay, you go after this guy. All right, and my turn. Cover me. Damn. I turn again. Wow. All right. Hell yeah, Barbarian. You know what I'm talking about. So what are these? Short swords? Well, I think because this is a trading post, we can probably sell all this stuff to him. So I think we're good. Let's come talk to Oleg. Uh, take that, you scoundrels. Oleg shakes his fist, but now he scratches his head and stares at the ground gloomily. The girl got away, a plague on her. She's certain to complain to the stag lord. They came before to collect taxes, but this time they'll come to punish treason. Now what are we to do, he sighs heavily. If only I could send Svetlana somewhere safe and show those rats what's what. This must be Svetlana. He notices a fair-haired woman approach. Dove, why are you here? I told you to stay hidden. It's all over. I saw it. I just needed to be sure you were all right. The woman looked at her husband tenderly, if with a hint of sorrow. Oleg mumbled something as he looks away, embarrassed. My name is Svetlana. I'm sorry your arrival to our trading post turned out so unwelcoming. Um, let's see. Let's get to the point. You say the bandits are going to attack again. Who are they and when will they arrive? Olog waves his hand sullenly. Who are they? They're the Stag Lord's gang. That's who these lands team with bandits like bedbugs in a beggar's nest. A beggar's hut. And you just stirred them up. They have a camp not far from here. I expect they'll return in full force in half a day, maybe less. The Stag Lord won't take an insult like this lightly, and his henchmen are more like demons than men. All right, tell me how much you know. Uh, what do they want? Those bloodsuckers think they own this land. They come take... Uh, 
what they want and steal the better part of our money every month as a toll for their leader. They even broke our gate so we couldn't try to hide anything from them. No one knows exactly how many there are. Sometimes only five or six come. Sometimes it's a whole gang. I'd have shown them what for long ago, if not for Svetlana. Um, let's see. They claim they're collecting taxes. Why? For the stag lord and his cronies, of course. The stag lord fancies himself a king in these parts. He may have antlers for a crown, but all the troublemakers around here are happy to follow his orders as long as they're paid. So they charge an arm and a leg as taxes, and they call their executions punishment for treason, even those who never swore allegiance to the stag lord. They're killed fast if they're lucky. If not, Oleg looks to Svetlana. Dove, why don't you go start dinner while we finish our talk? I've no need to be protected from dark talk. I'm not some blind kitten, you know. I've seen what they do to people, Svetlana lowered her head. Most of the gang is made up of simple bandits, but there are a few monsters among the leadership, especially those close to the stag lord. Ox and Dovin from the Nirosh come to mind. They like to make a show of their tortures and executions. My husband and I, we saw the bodies. Um... I guess I need to go with the lawful good. You have nothing to fear because I don't like the other two options. Yeah, and I'm certainly not. We're not going to do the wait for attack. Well, I appreciate your good intentions. I may not have the best manners, but Olag Levitson has the last name you'll hear accused of being ungrateful. If we manage to defend this post, I'll reward you proper. We have to hide Svetlana. Don't. Please don't argue, Dove. Now, we also need to decide on a plan. Go ahead and look around. There may be some tools that can be used for the battle. There are some pretty solid traps around, some tar, and a box of alchemist fire, looks like. Alchemist fire. We could put that by the gate, light it off with a burning uh, yeah, burning arrow when those bandits are nearby. But that would set the post on fire, Oleg shouts, surprised. Well, maybe if we covered the walls with something to protect them. All right, yes, I think it could work. I'll even shoot the arrow myself. I used to be a pretty good with a crossbow back in my day. Um, let's see. Tell me as much as you know. They claim they were collecting. Enough about the bandits for now. Um, I saw someone running out of the trading post. You know who it was. That must have been Bakken. He sells potions. He lives out in the forest like a hermit. But he comes here every day. He knows every tree and bush in the area and how they can help you. The Stag Lord's gang wants him to work for them. He lacks the courage to fight those bandits, but he won't just walk away from us. He's a good heart, even if he grumbles a lot, especially recently. Um, let's see. Tell me more about yourselves. Surely there's more important things to discuss. Well, all right. We're just honest people who come here from Restov. We fix up the old fort to house travelers and give merchants a place to trade with the locals. We deal with the occasional huntsmen in the area. What does any of this matter? When those bandits come back, they'll either drain us dry or just kill us. Um, let's see here. We'll talk later. Uh, let's have a look around. What's in this box? Various household and hunting tools. This rubbish seems unlikely to be helpful in battle. Okay. Oh, what do we have over here? Potatoes. That's definitely going to be helpful in battle. Potatoes, yes. I was... Oh my god, I'm so glad we found the potatoes. There's some disgusting slush in the pot. This seems to be tar. Spill tar near the trading post entrance to help slow down the bandits. Yes, let's do that. All right, what else? Got a box over here. We've got a heavy mace, jasper, and 10 gold coins. I don't know why that's just laying about, but we'll take care of that. A silver spoon. At least I wasn't born with it in my mouth. All right. Now, you'd mentioned traps. Let's see if we can't find traps. Over here. That's Bakken. We'll talk to him in a second. I 
nothing up here. I swore he mentioned traps, didn't he? Oh, what do we got here? The old well's been renovated and cleaned. It even has a new roof. All right. A heavy crossbow. Woo. All right, let's talk to Bakken. I didn't see those traps, though. Do you guys see traps? Maybe that's what's in this box. Here's how... Oh, no, we already covered that one. All right, let's talk to Bakken. Frail, disheveled old man wearing a stained and tattered robe gives you a gloomy look. I'm Bakken, local herbalist. What brings you here? Uh, we could use your help finding the bandits. Uh, where's this coming from? You want an old man like me to fight? Here, take this potion. Consider that my help in the fight. Potion to cure light wounds. Uh, let's try this Diplomacy 16. We failed. I'd rather sit in the bushes and watch you and Oleg bit the delights out of those thugs. Watching from a distance is more fun, you know? Alright, we'll talk later. We got a potion. Where are these traps at that he mentioned? Hmm. Traps, traps. Not seeing any traps. Alright, let's see if we can't um, talk to Oleg again and find the traps. Um, let's get back to the possible attack. Um, they claim that... All right, uh, enough of the bandits. Let's see your goods. Of traps. We have a light mace plus one. That's cool. 2,400 gold. Uh, yeah, no. Not happening. Oh, he's got a few plus one things, but they're all, like, really, really expensive. Um, I'm not seeing any traps. Oh, well. I guess we're done here. Well, these aren't the heroics I was hoping to write about, but I guess even the greatest heroes had to start somewhere. See, you're not easily cowed. I beg you, be careful. Please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Svetlana, go hide inside. Time passed. Six hours and 40 minutes. Oh, nice. Nice shot, Oleg. Alright, I'm up first, huh? Burning hands. Can I walk up here? Oh, this is risky. But I'm fully healed and I have everything, so. Oh, now I can't cast it. Oh, that sucks. I'll loot your corpse. Wow. I just really put myself out there and now I'm totally hosed. Oh, at least I have Miri in front of me. Ooh, a critical hit. Nice. Oh, there's a few more guys back here. Onward. Damn. All right, let's move to here. And now I want to do burning hands on this guy. Oh man, he reflects saved. Damn it. Missed. Swing and a miss. Stay behind me. Step 
their backs. Nice. Damn it, Oleg's gonna go down. Bring it. Oh serves you right. Missed. All right, get it, Valerie. Nice. Cover me. Tear them apart. They go down. You deserved it. Damn it. What a miss. Like a there we go. Nice. All right. Um, you know what? What is this? Cloak. Is it? Wait a minute. That's an unidentified item. Let's go into our inventory. Ooh, it's a cloak of resistance plus one. This cloak grants to wear a plus one resistance bonus on all saving throws. Well, I definitely need to be putting this on because my saving throws suck. And how can we sort? Um, let's see, type. There we go. All right. That's fantastic. Oleg's breathing heavily, but he shakes his fist in the air menacingly. You rats got what you deserve. Now they'll know better than to treat honest people like cattle. But we should call uh, Boken out before he freezes in those bushes. Now, my lady, head up into the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. And this is for your efforts. Now, don't offend me by trying to turn it down. Just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If that were more common practice in this world, I think life would be so much better. We got 100 gold coins. Nice. Okay. We also got level ups. All kinds of good stuff. So let's come in here. Now we seem to be missing a couple people here, right? Because uh, we don't have enough room. Can we talk to Svetlana? I'm glad it's all over, even if there was a fight. We'll talk tomorrow once I've finished working. All right. No one's complaining. Let's go rest. And we'll spin this around that way. There we go. What do we got here? We have a chest. Got pirate brooch. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Golden statuette. Golden trinket. Scroll of Bane, and of course, Silver Spoons. We can play the spoons. Got more chests. Wow, look at this. A, a Ray of Enfeeblement, Silver Ring, Silver Disc, a Potion of Vanish. Sweet Lord, people just leave this crap laying around. Uh, we have a book, Guide for Travelers, Hunters and Explorers of the River Kingdoms, Volume 5. Monsters and beasts. Bed. You wake up from a nasty dream that tortured you almost all night long. In it, you saw a wall of a naturally thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. A quick look out the window, and you find out that the fog was not a figment of your imagination, not a dream. And then... Her voice is barely more than a whisper as she reaches towards you. It seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. All right. Glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. Beauty is 
so tender. It can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. But you can save it from being undone. All right. What do you want from me? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. Wonderful voice acting. The Stag Lord's responsible for the fog? Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. All right, how can I help you? This fog, it enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created, but my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house, and it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandits' camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there. And listen to the echo, catch the whispers, search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again, and you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. All right. I understand. Farewell. I don't believe in fate, stranger, but our meeting seems more than a coincidence. All right, and she's gone. There are no threats in this location. It's a sort of headquarters where you can prepare your party for a new expedition. In such locations, companions don't follow you around and will go about their own business. You can speak with them freely to get to know them better. Once you exit this location and return to the global map, you'll be able to choose the companions you wish to take with you leaving the others here. Whenever you meet a new companion, but don't want to include them in your party right away, that companion will travel to this location on their own. Okay. So, I need to open up my... Actually, I need to do whatever the button is to go into spell book. Oh, I hit it right. All right. So, I have to level up, but I'm holding off on that just briefly. Um, I want to go to the prepared book. How do I change? Oh, that says memorize. Oh, okay. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I want to go with snowball. No. Can I drag it down here? Snowball. Ah, that's how we do it. Okay. So we have snowball. And uh, let's go with... Um, Let's go with color spray. So we have like an area effect and then a single target. I like it. Okay. And while we're here, um, she does not get have a spell book because she's a bard, so we don't have to worry about her. The other two aren't spell casters. I believe this is our chest. Yeah, personal stash. So we can put things in here that we want to hold on to for later. But first, let's go see if we can't sell the stuff that we have. Um, ooh, eight eyes. 
The elf looked straight at you through the tangled hair falling over her face. Hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the stolen lands? You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call themselves your friend are more dangerous than your enemies. Judging by the elf's voice, it's obvious that she started the day with a jug of wine. Who are you? The elf grunts, Anorial Eight Eyes. Once upon a time, I was famous throughout Absalom of the Reckless Six. Well, glory passes quickly a few miserable decades later and no one recognizes you on the street anymore. What a shame. What are you doing here? I sit here waiting for adventurers who are in need of help. We may be sitting here in a backwoods tavern, but in Absalom I have a lot of friends who are eager to make a few coins. They have brave hearts but shallow pockets. A little gold would be welcome change for them. I can send them a message and they will come from Absalom through a portal. If you're interested, just give me a sign and we'll arrange everything right away. So, here's the deal with her. You essentially buy mercenaries for a certain amount of gold, whatever it is, you can create another character. The downside is, is for some reason, you know how we talked about how the point buy and we had 25 points for the point buy. These new mercenaries that you would create only get 20 points. So they're five points less for all their stats and stuff like that. But it's something we may want to do because I don't have a cleric right now. So we may have to, um, we may have to call in a, uh, a cleric. Um, let's see here. Why are you called eight eyes? Once long ago, I could spot an enemy and pin him to the wall before he could even think of attacking. Some said I had eight eyes and looked all around at once. Though it seems I've outlived my nickname. I've been drinking so much lately. It's best I don't test my skills too often. Um, let's see. I'd like to use the tutor services. Oh, this is for respecking. Okay, so if we wanted to respect our character, we would do it here with her as well. Uh, where were you when the trading post was attacked? I was hunting, got a little lost in the mist, which is the first time that's happened to me. I guess I should go easier on the drink, but don't you imagine I'd be scared of a good fight? If only I had known I was missing all the action, but I see you've got everything under control. Would you like to join me? Uh, no, I've got enough things to do already. You'd better manage on your own. Famous Pathfinder here in the middle of nowhere. Why? You want to know how one could exchange the life of Pathfinder for this sorry drunken rat hole? The light in Noriel's eyes goes out as if someone had blown out a candle. You lose all your friends because of one scumbag, and then you'll understand. I was the only one to return from the final campaign of the Reckless Six, and whatever's left of me can't be called a seeker anymore. Her, uh, Noriel remains silent for a long time as if wondering if she wishes to poke the old wound. Here's the story. Our leader, Vermelt, was the best of us. Wise, brave, friends with everyone. One of those friends, Adivan Adrescent, sent him a disturbing letter. He'd stumbled upon mention of some ancient books in the art of necromancy. Secrets like those are best left hidden forever. Trust me, I've seen what that kind of magic can do. The elf bites her lip. To make a long story short, these volumes were supposedly hidden in the catacombs of Gullspire. We decided that the books should be retrieved and kept safe by the society. We gathered in a tavern, discussed the expedition, then proceeded to... Astalav. It was a normal mission and quick and quiet recovery, Anoriel smiles bitterly, but everything turned out to be much more complicated. We barely made it through the Witchgate Forest, all those terrible living trees, undead druids, and their arches of bone. It was a miracle we managed to make it out alive. We'd chosen Wren Church to stop at. It was marked on Vermelt's map as a safe passage haven to hole up in and lick our wounds. How I wish that had been true. Vermelt was the first to perish. He was attacked by one of the monsters hiding in the stables. It tossed him about like a feather and threw him down an ancient well. His shout echoed for a long time and I didn't hear the sound of him landing. And then Anoro paused and turned away, hiding her eyes. Enough. I shouldn't have gotten into this. Who am I to stir up others' feelings with all my chatter? You would better forget about it for now. Maybe I'll tell you more some other time, but not today. 
how am I liking it so far? I'm digging it. It so far it's fantastic. Um, let's see here. So I want to click on this. Uh, certainly, as promised, the first three times you request retraining, the Pathfinder Society tutors will do their work for free. Uh, no, let's not do that now. But that's good to know. We got three re-rolls that we can do. That's fantastic. Um, let's see here. Yeah, and this is... I have friends like that just decide who exactly you need and they'll come on my signal. They'll cost you 500 gold pieces. I don't even, do we even have 500 gold pieces? We have 645 plus we got stuff to sell. So, um, maybe we'll recruit someone. Oleg, need to talk to you, man. Show me your wares. All right, so let's, um, all right, so offer button picks all the treasure stuff, right? So he's going to pay us 299. We'll take that. And we didn't pick up all this armor so that we could keep it. Now these torches, I was told never to get rid of. The ever burning torches, we have two of them. Never ever ever get rid of them, I was told. Um let's actually before we do that, let's make sure that everyone has the best I guess we can't. Oh, there we go. Okay. So she is wearing hide armor. What else do we have? It's better. That's two. That's three. Bracers of armor. Well, I'm not going to waste bracers on her. We'll put them on someone that can't wear them. Camping supplies. All right. So no armor for her. What is she wearing? Banded mail. We certainly don't have anything for her. Uh, she's running it with a Masterworks Longsword, and over here, a Ginormous Sword. An oversized Enhancement plus one. Well, we're going to leave her with that. Um, yeah. But I don't think, because we don't have anything cool like that, so we can sell all of this stuff. That may be the Heavy Crossbow. Can I use, can I use a Heavy Crossbow? I can. Just one to ten, it's two handed. Nineteen to twenty, fifty foot range, simple wet proficiency group. It's a double the weight though. I think I'm gonna swap that out. And of course I can't wear any armor, but I could wear these bracers. These bracers grant their wear an armor bonus of plus one, just as though they were wearing armor. There we go. All right, time for me to get out of the chair. Been 11 hours. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Only one death per stream on. <laughs> All right, Marcus, have a great night, buddy. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you thought of the game. So we'll, we'll, we'll catch up. Uh, we got all these books. I don't, can we do anything with these? Drop or info? No, that just tells me what the book is about. Guide to travelers, hunters, and explorers. The Curse of Ancient Imbera. I don't know what we need the books for, but we have butter. I mean, that's the important thing. I and mean, we've got a crap ton of food stuff. So that's cool. All right. Back to Oleg. Show me your wares. Sell, sell, sell. I may hold on to one of these composite longbows. Yeah, let's do just one. One to eight. One to eight. 20 times three. 20 times three. See, a composite longbow, I believe you get um, your strength. Uh, bonus so it might be good for for an archer so we'll get rid of the short bows a masterwork light mace long sword short 
short bow, the short swords can all go. Probably all the same. At least the icons are the same. Uh, get rid of the bucklers. Yeah, look at that. Overloaded 100. Oh, because I'm walking by myself. That's why. Studded leather is a minus one armor check, max dexterity of five. The only one that we could possibly put that on is Lindsay, but that would be limiting her. So I don't even know what her dexterity is. The rest of the stuff we're holding on to for sure. Well, okay, maybe not the longsword. But yeah, we'll hold on to the composite longbow. We'll put it in the chest upstairs and we'll take that deal. Look at that, 1600. We could hire three people if we wanted to. But, um, and I don't know if I want to take the time to build another freaking character right now, though. All right. So I guess we're going to level up. So we're going to go Arcanist. And say next. And our Heritage. Now we get the bonus Arcanist prepared spell, right? We can pick that up because we already have this one. No, I guess we can't do that. Oh, because we haven't gone up in a spell level yet and it has to be one level lower. So it's not until we pick up level two spells that we can do this other one. So let's go with the bonus skill rank partial. That's fine. Uh, skills, we're not adding any points here, but we are adding points over here. So we are going to go perception, persuasion, and uh, knowledge arcana. There we go. And let's see here. So we can add new to select the spell you wish to acquire from the list below. Okay. Let's see, what do we want? So these are all the ones that we have, right? Color, spray, cause, fear. Yeah, okay. Sleep would be a good one. Let's do that. Um, obscuring mist. A misty vapor arises around you. All creatures within a 20-foot burst centered on target point from within medium range. It's stationary. The vapor obscures all sight, including dark vision beyond five feet. A creature five feet away has concealment. Creatures further away have total concealment. And the attacker cannot use sight to locate the target. Hmm. Don't know what I would use that for. Let's go with, I guess we'll go with corrosive. Uh, we already have acid, don't we? No, we don't. Okay. We'll go with corrosive touch then. Next. And complete. There we go. And we have to level everyone else up, but we can't do that right now. Let's go put this bow away. Tuck you in there. God, we're still carrying 86 pounds of crap. Oh, look at all the potions. Holy cow. It's 12 pounds worth of just cure light wounds. We need to put those on belts and stuff like that. Yeah, see, these weigh next to nothing. We don't need two of those. So let's go inventory. There we go. Ah, here's our belt. Okay. Just one. Is that all we can do? It's just one. There we go. All right. And over here, give her a couple. Throw a couple on her belt as well, right? Since we don't have a healer, we're going to have to heal thyself. 
What are these other potions? Acid Flask, Alchemist Fire. Oh, we could have used the Alchemist Fire. I'm glad we didn't use it in that fight. Uh, potion of Bark Skin, Cure Light Wounds, Enlarge Person, Remove Blindness, Potion of Vanish. Then we got Bane, Bless, Ray of Enfeeblement, Shield of Faith, Ray's Dead, and I don't know what these books do. Sir, um... Oh, we, we can't do anything with it right now. Can she do anything with it? No? Alright. I don't want to leave them here in case we need it. Like, this sounds like a cookbook. See, Cooking Almanac. I don't want to leave that here. Um, okay. I need to go into my spell book. There we go. And we are, oh, okay, so we've memorized Snowball and Color Spray. I don't know what the little star is. So I guess I need to grab a rest so that those will end up in my, my spell book. Okay, this, no, let's drag this down here. There we go. Drag this down here. There we go. All right. I should call my familiar too. There he is. Oh, look, a little snake. Oh, the cat's going to like come play with him. Got my little familiar out. There we go. All right, come along, little dude. Let's go do some adventuring, shall we? See what trouble we can get into. All right, we're leaving the bow here. So we're just going to go ahead and say leave. Bringing everyone with us. Can't level them up right now. That's all right. All right. Now we can level up. Okay. So this is Valerie. And Valerie is a vindictive bastard. I'm not caring for a vindictive bastard. So a vindictive bastard, as these fallen paladins are known, strikes out for retribution and revenge, far more interested in tearing down those who have harmed her and her companions and furthering a distant deity's cause. I'm thinking I want, I'm going to multi-class her now. And never look back. We go fighter. And go, let's see. Many fighters believe the tower shield is a tool suitable only for troops on the battlefield. Claiming it's too large and bulky to use in skirmishes or within dungeon corridors. Tower shield specialists defy those notions using their massive shields with startling skill and incredible effect. They use these seemingly clumsy shields to perform deft maneuvers that confound their enemies. Because I want her to kind of be the tank, right? She's the only one with a shield. So what do I get at first level? Get, uh, at, oh, that's at second level. At first level and every even level afterward, a fighter gains a bonus feat in addition to those gained by normal advancement, meaning the fighter gains a feat at every level. These bonus feats must be selected from those listed as combat feats, something called fighter bonus feats. It's this a deity selection. All right. So 
Yeah, we're going to make her a tower shield specialist. I hope that that works. Oh, shit, I don't know. It just sounds right. Her strength is good. And we need to work on her con, I think, so that she has more health. Um, let's see, two points, athletics, and persuasion. Next. Um, let's see here. So it's suggesting either precise shot or weapon focus. Maybe not precise shots. She's not going to be using any ranged weapons. So artful dodge. You're the only character threatening an opponent. You gain a plus one dodge bonus to AC against that opponent. Hmm. Line fight. An invisible attacker gets no advantage related to hitting you in melee. Feet grants gives the character the ability to perform the dirty trick combat maneuver. It also grants a plus two bonus to CMB when performing this maneuver and a plus two bonus to CMD when defending against it. Now, shield brace. What is this? You can use a two handed weapon sized appropriately for you from the pole arm or spears weapon. What? Shield. Hold on. You can use a two-handed weapon sized appropriately for you from the pole arm or spears weapon group while also using a light, heavy, or tower shield with which you are proficient. The shield armor check penalty, if any, applies to attacks made with the weapon. Okay. Shield wall. It's a teamwork feat. Shielded caster, no. It says none to all of these. Shield bash. Oh, that's light and heavy, so not, not the uh, tower shield. Hmm. Game plus two bonus on athletics checks, no. Armor focus. Your familiarity with a specific type of armor increases the amount of protection you receive from it. I think I'll want that later once I have know what armor I want to put her in. Uh, that's a teamwork feat. You can feint as a move action. To feint, make a Bluff skill check. The DC of this check is equal to 10 plus your opponent's base attack bonus plus your opponent's wisdom modifier. If successful, the next melee attack you make. Now, hmm. So you take a minus one to all attack rolls, but gain a plus two to damage rolls. I guess <sighs> intimidating prowess. Add your strength modifier to a persuasion skill when you when you used to intimidate. Let's go with, we'll go with intimidating prowess. All right, that's done. Lindsay, bard. I guess the question is, is do we continue? Yeah, let's continue her in her bard.
Um, let's see here. Whoa, shit. Let's go trickery. Perception. Use magical device. Persuasion. Or whatever it was that I just clicked on there. So versatile performance at at second level, a bard or skald selects one of the following skills, mobility, stealth, perception, persuasion, or use magical device. She receives a number of ranks in this skill equal to half her bard or skald level. In addition, she uses charisma modifier in place of the ability modifier the skill would normally use. The bard or skald can immediately read train all of her ranks in excess in the selected skill at no additional cost in memory and money or time um let's go with perception and she gets one more spot here so let's give her hideous laughter Uh, did you see how far that jumped up just by taking away that point and then adding him? So, wow. That's cool. I'm glad I remembered to do that. All right. Oh, Amiri. She's a barbarian. Second level, the Invulnerable Rager. I guess we'll just keep her with Barbarian for right now. All right. So she gets... Oh, hell, she gets four points. Let's go mobility and athletics. All right, rage power. Gains two claw attacks. What the hell? Acid resistance. While raging, the Barbarian gains resistance to specified energy type equal to half her Barbarian level minimum one. The energy type is chosen when the Rage power is selected and it cannot be changed. Okay. The Barbarian can attack with Abandon at the expense of her defense. She gains a plus one bonus on attack rolls, but takes a minus one penalty to AC. This bonus and penalty increase by one at fourth level and every four levels thereafter. This is a stance rage power. A barbarian cannot have more than one stance rage power active at a time. Exactly barbarian for the win. See, I told you I liked her. Uh, cannot have more than one active at a time. If she activates a stance rage power while another one is active, the current stance immediately ends. While raging the Barbarian can make one additional attack of opportunity per round. That's pretty good. A swift foot. Barbarian gains a 10 foot enhancement bonus to her base speed. Barbarian can select this rage power up to three times its effects stack. The Barbarian can focus her strikes. She gains a plus one competence bonus on melee attack rolls and thrown weapon attack rolls. This bonus increases by one for every four levels. Uh, this is this is a stance rage power. I like the lethal stance, that's pretty good. Guarded stance, the barbarian can take a more defensive posture. This grants her a plus one dodge bonus to her armor class for the duration of her current rage. This bonus increases one for every four levels. This is a stance rage power. All right, we're going to go with Guarded Stance. 
Who knows? I could be hosing these characters up and not even know. What do we got going on here? Oh, my Viper Familiar. Power Attack. Guarded Stance. Okay. So, if we look at the... How do we move the map? Oh, there we go. So, this must be the fog that she was talking about that we've already traveled through. So, I guess we're going to head this way. Oh, that was short-lived. We're going to do some exploration. Oh, random encounter. That's what I'm hoping for. Because obviously, we're not ready to take on any stag lord. For God's sakes, we're level two. A jittery old man in squalid clothing shuffles up to you. His gray hair is unkept, and he's casually clenching and unclenching his wrinkled, freckled hands. When he stops and looks at you, his eyes widen and he tugs at his beard. Strange weather. Invisible fog creeping out of the woods soars beyond the sky, obscures the sun and moon. Strange, the old man shakes his head, his eyes shifting around seemingly at random. I don't like this old man. Looks like the kind who would cast the evil eye. Uh, who are you? The old man freezes for a moment. Remus, but that won't help with the fog. What are you doing here? The old man raises a thick eyebrow. I do nothing. Breathe, walk, observe. The fog looks visible enough to me. I see more than ever. I've never seen so much before. The old man wipes his hand across his face and sighs wearily. But someone must look, and no one else can. Invisible fog. Does that mean you can find your way through it? The fog is wrong. It hinders your legs, not your sight. I wish not to try. Um, I, I should probably go. The old man stares at you intently. You hasten. You should. Your rival wastes no time. He races, but in another direction. He searches for power. He'll find it. My rival? Do you mean Tartuccio? The old man tugs his beard again. He's not tall, but he wants to climb high. Beside him are those who could stand against him and might yet still. What power is he searching for? Someone else's, old but forever young, that which was taken from another, that which gave joy and now gives death. Um, how do you know we're rivals? I don't know, I see. You can choose where you set your eyes usually, but can you choose what they see? Can you tell me where he is now? He's in an old tomb south of the trading post. Ancient tomb has been revealed. Thank you. The old man nods. All the more reason not to linger. Farewell. The old man turns and walks away slowly, muttering softly, Once stolen, the land should be reclaimed. Once reclaimed, bound with the claimer shall it be. Bound, merged, joined by unbreakable ties, claiming the land, claiming its pain, claiming its death. All right. Ancient tomb. Rock and roll. Might as well finish this. Yeah, as I was saying, we're not ready. Ooh, Endless Plains, Fangberry Cave. We're not ready to take on the Stag Lord. Good night, Mr. Barbarian King. Have a great night. I'll catch you again soon. Endless Plains. Do I want to enter this location? Uh, I want to cancel. I want to quick save. And now I want to enter. <laughs> Just in case. All right. The hell is that thing?
Dead horse body. I need to fix. Nope, that's right. We're good. Scroll of touch of gracelessness. Petrified egg. Um, I don't think we're supposed to be here. We're fucked. <laughs> we are definitely not supposed to be here. All right, Manticore. All right, we got that done. Um, let's move. I'm going to kind of spread them out. There we go. Don't eat me. All right, let's take a look at this mana core really quick. AC 19. Attack bonus five. All right. I'm okay with that, I think. Let's go with Snowball. Nice. It's 12 damage to it. It's almost down to 50%. That's cool. I'll take it. I'm going to move her back, though. She is the squishy one. All right, Lindsay, your turn. Any last wishes? My turn again? No, Valerie. <gasps> Miss. Oh, it ate Valerie. Bring it. Miss. All right, um... Ooh, let's go with Daze. Nope, can't cast that on it. Snowball. Missed. This is where I step in. Missed. We all missed. Do not hold up. Oh, there's a hit. I require healing. Ooh. Oh, that's a fantastic hit. Twenty-four damage. Miss. Serves you right. It. Yeah, that thing is almost dead. You got this, Valerie. There it is. Nice. Skin the manticore. Oh, I got nothing. That's a shame. All right. There we go. That's easy. Shining scale, a dueling sword. Belt of Incredible Dexterity. This belt grants its wear a plus two enhancement bonus to dexterity. Well, we know who needs to get that. There we go. All right. Moving on. Now there's uh, some loot over here.
scimitar, a wand of grease, rare roots, coal, and gold coins. That was cool. But the mana core was going to be a little bit tougher. That was it. All right. Um, oh, what is that? Banded Transmuter. Wonderful. The way seems clear. Hesitation is a waste of time. Nice. You deserved it. Oh, a crit on top of it? Fantastic. You can charge as well. Uh, not doing it wrong. Spell is oh, bard's down. Any last wishes? Oh, we got him with the attack of opportunity. I was like, what the hell just happened? It was the attack of opportunity. That's awesome. That works. What is this? Scroll of doom, light crossbow, hurricane bow, long spear, chain shirt. No. Oh. That's everything. Yep. We're out. Uh, clean that. Oh, come on. Quiet footsteps. I forgot to click on leave. Ooh, I got achievement progress survivor. One of a hundred. Oh, it's the ancient tomb. I want to see what this thing is. Fruit and berries. This resort isn't in your lands and cannot be claimed. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's enter the ancient tomb. We're gonna kick Tartuccio right in the nuts. Hit him in the little twig and berries. I want to be very careful here. This feels like an area with a lot of traps. Wow. Protection from chaos, gold... Summon monster, nice. Right, doesn't this feel like a very trappy kind of a place? What do we have here? Tartuccio's mercenary. A gnome in gaudy purple garb seizes your attention. Of course, the scoundrel Tartuccio, who you knew from your time in Restop. The vile gnome is standing on a small hill, expressing his discontentment in every way he can muster. Let me guess, you're still dawdling. <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Bake a pie, perhaps? Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable wearing fool's caps and colored trousers. Then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. 
Come one, come all, feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Galorian. Why hurry? The same end awaits us all. Hold your tongue, gnome. I can hardly tell your twaddle from the buzzing of a fly. Quickly now, if we don't find that artifact soon, someone else might seize it. Someone who's standing over there watching you right now, you fools! <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, Harem, I would be happy to see you among my companions. Your faith does not oblige you to follow fools and liars like Tartuccio. Dithal, isn't Tartuccio's arrogance long past what you can suffer? I can find far better use for a companion such as you. I gotta go with this one because I need a freaking healer. There is as much vanity in your words as in the words of all who have not seen the wisdom of Grotus. Yet you seem a worthier leader than the arrogant Tartuccio. Perhaps in serving you, I shall open your eyes to the teachings of my faith. Yeah, sure. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of her enemy. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your sword and cover my retreat. Yeah! Yeah! All right, battle. Here we go. Who's up first? Ah, uh, she can't shoot him. Can't shoot him. We got mercenary, 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 mercenary. All right, so it's pick one and go. This is where I step in. Let's do a charge, charge, and this guy. Nice. All right, and you do a charge on this guy. I will cast. Can I color spray on that guy? No. Okay. Nice. All right. Oh, critical hit? Fantastic. Do we have a spellcaster over here? I guess that mercenary is. Miss. All right. I turn. It's days. Oh, I'll loot your corpse. can't days. Stab their back. Can't days anybody. I just moved into the wide open. Yeah, that's fantastic. My training pays off. Oh, the dude got obliterated. Lost. Charge here. Miss. Tear them apart. Nice. All right. Days here. There we go. Harem's down. Uh, Valerie here? Me. Nothing. Mary? Here. They go down. Miss. Color spray? I saved. Damn it. Ah! Attack of opportunity got me! Nice. Let 
Fantastic. But Tartuccio is gone. The little turd. Alright, so we've got everyone here now. What do we got? Heavy shield. Take this. That looks to be a magical longsword. Scorched fragment of a necklace. This item bears a trace of lost power. It seems you found a shard of a destroyed artifact. If you find all the fragments, an artisan with enough skill could restore it for you. Hell yes. All right. Regular longsword scale mail. I think we want to grab that. Where's that other guy at? Oh, there he is. Uh, composite longbow. Chocolate. Uh, we don't need the studded leather. What else we got around here? Things to look at. It seemed from afar that but the cracks in the stone, but turns out to be a faded image of the sun. A grinning jackal skull has recently been scratched on top of the image. On closer inspection, one can discern the outline of a head with a single eye. Judging by the outline, this boss relief once depicted the sun and moon. Now it's almost completely eroded. Image carved in the stone is almost completely worn away by ages. One can still distinguish a sickle, a sword, and a skull with a single eye socket covered with a coin. Clear quartz. Yeah. Fucked all that. Alright, everyone meet up here. Let's look at our formation. Put our priest right in the middle so he can heal everybody, right? That's the idea. He needs to level up anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. He's a war priest. Unlike many war priests, sacred is he a sacred fist? No? behind armor and shield instead rely on their fists and whatever protection their deity bestows on them what um hmm becoming a spiritualist not a calling it's a phenomenon no Shaman, rogue, ranger, psychic. He can't be a paladin. All right, let me back out of here really quick. Um, yes. I want to take a look at his inventory. And he's carrying around a heavy flail. No armor. Can he not wear armor? He can. Max dexterity of three, so he could wear scale mail. And a flail. All right. Oh, sacred fists leave behind armor and shield and instead rely on their fists and whatever protection their deity bestows on them. So, yeah, all right. Um... Let's see, what does he get here? Procedure gains a bonus feat at first level, then again at fifth and every five levels thereafter. 
These bonus feats must be chosen from the following list. Heavy armor proficiency, shield bash, martial weapon proficiency, saving shield, shield focus, tower shield proficiency, and weapon focus. But does he get... Let's carry this through and just see really quick. He wants to channel positive. Uh, let's see. Powerful persuader, a honey tongue empowered by divine augmentation sways the indifferent and adversarial in your side. He worships a very weird god. I mean, look at this. Chaos, conversion, darkness, destruction, madness. He gained the supernatural ability to make a melee attack with a morale bonus on damage rolls equal to half your level in the class that gave you access. You can imbue a target with chaos. Vision of Madness. You can give a creature a Vision of Madness as a melee touch attack. Holy crap. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on here. At second level, War Priest can draw upon the power of his faith to heal wounds or harm foes. Okay, so let's go back and not do the Cleric. We're going to take him to second level War Priest. Because I was looking for a healer. <laughs> I'm like, and he's Sacred Fist. So we're going to give him the bonus skill rank Partial. Freaking one skill point. I'm going to put it in. Got to go in religion, right? There we go. All right. So. Oh, here we go. Use heal skill. No, where is his... I don't understand his character yet. We're going to have to work on that. All right, everything is clear there. Let's keep heading this way. It requires your attention. Yes, it does. Ooh, secret passage. That ancient Cyclops coin. It is rust. Uh, this is, uh, Pathfinder. Pathfinder is a tabletop game that is actually based on Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 edition because Wizards of the Coast opened, made, uh, edition 3.5 open source. So anyone could use it as a basis for their own thing. And so Pathfinder was actually created based on that open source of Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 uh, edition. So yeah, it, uh, there's a ton of similarities because there, it's Pathfinder source material is D&D. &D. And good evening to you. Hey, 
Okay, that leads out. Careful now. I see something. Ooh, a trap. I should have saved. Anything else? Ugh. And Lindsay was called forth. Yes, and Lindsay was called forth. Oh, cool. Collect all that. Anything else? Oh, what do we got here? Fast relief of the sun along the road of the vague outlines of four strange creatures have been carved over it. All right, looks like that's it. And I didn't leave anything behind that I'm going to miss. Clean it. Leave it. How oh, sweet, the first breath of fresh air after the stale, damp stuffiness of that tomb. Before it stretched an unending, unending heath, replete with hills and gullies and patches of low shrubs. Already the trail of Tartuccio and his companions had gone cold. We're going to try our lore nature 11. Probably going to fail that. Uh, yes. Alas, no matter how long we stared at the wavy sea of grass, we could not divine which way Tartuccio had gone Despite our resolution, this time we had to taste defeat. All right. So we got that done. Now, Old Sycamore, I've been told that we will have to revisit this a few times because there's just some stuff that we just can't do yet. But we do want to go over to the Thorn Fjord. Thorn Ford, I guess. It's not Fjord. It's not spelled like Fjord. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yes, let's try resting, shall we? That's something that we haven't done yet. Okay. So, um, how do we set up camp? Manage. There we go. Okay. So I'm guessing that he's the best one for that. Plus two, plus two. Now these two would definitely be a watch. Maintain armor, inspire competence, sharpen weapons, blend into the night. Well, we don't have enough people to do that. So hopefully we get a, a hearty meal out of this. A uh, plus five. All right. Hold on. No, don't want that checked. I want him to hunt, right? Use healing spells and abilities before resting. Okay. Begin resting. Here we go. I can't believe our adventure finally begins. I'm so happy to be here. And I do hope we will become trusted companions. And perhaps even true friends. Oh, yes. Certainly. Could you pass the salt? <laughs> oh, he got five rations for us. Nice. Camouflaged. We had a hearty meal. Oh, wow. We got them all. We don't have the special roll thing, but hey, everything worked. I, I bet we get a bonus for that hearty meal, too. Yep, we do. Eating a hearty meal provides you with a plus one bonus on all saving throws for a day. That's fantastic. All right, let's go this way. Yes, enter the Thorn Ford. How you doing today, Russ? Oh, look at my little snake familiar. Oh, it's a duck. A duck. Would you look at that? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Uh, 
Oh, we got goods. I'm doing great. I've been looking forward to playing this game and I didn't know which which way it was going to go as far as whether I was going to be playing a, a, a necromancer cleric or whether I was going to play, be playing some sort of arcane spellcaster. So I've been doing a lot of research this week because there's so much going on in this game. I wanted to make sure I was at least a little bit prepared for tonight. I love the rain. Oh, we found a piece of the artifact. Whoa. Another trap, yeah. If Lindsay gets hit by lightning. Oh no. Charge. Can't do a charge. God, we're all like flat footed here. No. Or we could bless. Oh, the dog just got a hit. Let's get her away. Oh, nice. All right, let's try this again. Did we get that one? Yep. Got that one. All right. But we'll pick some herb. Take a look at our map here. I guess we can cross here, but I want to. I missed something. Oh, edible moss. Quiet footsteps. We'll pick that up on the way out. Bandits' belongings are piled together in a messy heap. Yeah, I find nothing of interest. I, I. No one has a perception that high in the group, so. Russell, the dark-haired bandit is kicking the ground irritably. When she sees you, she squares her shoulders and clenches her hand axes. But well, look who's here. Easy now. I'm not here to blanket the stolen lands with corpses. Lower your weapon and let's talk. I won't kill anyone who leaves the stag lord's service or is willing to help me find him. So think about it. Is he really a leader you're ready to die for? Something in your words seems to have impressed Kressel. She frowns for a moment, then spits. Fine, I won't cut your throat for now, at least. But I also won't kneel to some Rostov upstart. Why would you try to make peace? Are you just naturally kind, or have you been listening to Svetlana? It's so hard to believe I simply might not want unnecessary bloodshed. My motives are my own. Just accept that I don't want you dead. Or this isn't kindness, it's good judgment. Your death doesn't help me in any way. Let's go neutral good. You know, life hasn't been so good to me. 
Uh, why should I trust you? All right, here's my piece. The stag lord's been spending more time keeping an eye on the bottom of his glass than what's going on around him. If he won't answer an insult from some rest of crook like Jamandi, then you're right. We chose the wrong leader. So go ahead. Do whatever you're going to do. I won't stop you, but I won't help you either. And here, give this to Svetlana. The bandit places a ring in your hand and leaves. Item receives foot. Lana's wedding ring. Gained experience 189. I'm going to venture a guess and say that 189 experience by talking our way out of that was more than we would have gained by fighting them. That's pretty awesome, actually. Watchtower, the bandits seem to have planned to seriously secure the area. See what else they left over here. Who's this guy? What do we got? Written orders. Cressel a task. As soon as you're done with the taxes, find an old hut in the woods upstream from the Thorn River and burn it to the ground. This is the Stag Lord's wish. He literally said burn, burn. Originally going to be Dovin, but he grew upset when he learned nobody lived in the hut. Said burning houses with no one in them was boring. So I said I'd send someone more reliable. Guess we'll take that. We'll take sweet pancakes. Then the notes of a traveling priest. You see a dark-haired man of about 45, though the wrinkles on his face make him look 60 at, the fir at first sight. He's currently a prisoner, judging from his tied hands. He slouches a bit, squinting short-sightedly at the light as he moves his lips as though speaking to someone invisible, he jerks his head up as he notices you. Priest Aristal, so, uh, someone finally chased off the scoundrels. Thank you, stranger. My name is Jihad Kavken, Kavkin. I'm a priest of Aristal from Galt. Those bandits attacked me as I was crossing the river, said they wanted to take me to their leader, make me heal their wounds. Not a chance. The strength granted by me by Aristal is meant to help uh, honest people, not robbers. How did you come upon these lands? I was led here by visions sent by the elk god, says with veneration. Aristotle showed me that somewhere in this wild land lies the temple of the elk, an ancient shrine forlorn and desecrated. I saw the ruins of the temple and the shadows of a predator lurking in sorcerous fog. I felt the echoes of the vicious rituals performed at the once blessed place, I have no doubt, Aristotle revealed all this to me so I could stop the ungodly sorcery that's desecrating the temple. The interwebs are bad, though. I kicked you from YouTube. That is no good. And where is this temple? That I don't know. Visions, even divine ones, are often vague and unreliable. I know, I only know, I know only that the temple is somewhere near in the gnarl marshes, but I'm afraid I won't be able to find it myself with that bandit lurking around every corner of this place. Uh, release him. I'm glad I could help. Jod mutters a bit, rubbing his hands. Oh, these times to be surprised to meet an honest woman as to see a manticore at a vegetable stall. Thank you for your help. I've exhausted my supply of prayers, but I'll gladly repay you in the future once I've restored my strength. Come to me if you ever need to be healed or blessed. I'm afraid an old fool like me won't be able to handle the mission given to me by Aristotle on my own. How can I search for the temple when the bandits won't leave me, won't let me take a single step? I'll head to Oleg Levinson's trading post to rest and think on what to do next. Please, traveler, if you happen to discover the ruins of the Temple of the Elk, come inform old Jihad. My gratitude will know no bounds. All right. Find the Temple of the Elk. Oh, we've got a box over here. Uh, hell yeah, applause, please. Look at all that stuff in there. Even got us some fresh meat. Nice. Anything else? No? Nothing here at the camp? No? All right, can we go this way? Oh, yeah, look, there's another box over here. Silver ink wells. All right, so now let's head back over here. I think we've, oh no, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get all that. All right, so that's the way out. The way seems clear. Oh, there we go. Found something. That was that masterwork heavy flail. <gasps> Ooh, in a ring. Let's go into inventory. Inventory. There we go. We need to take this armor off of him, right? Where is... Oh, there it is. There we go. Because he's not supposed to be wearing armor. For whatever reason. He's got a heavy flail. And we just found a masterwork heavy flail, which gives him a plus one to attack. So let us put that there. There we go. Organize our stuff. Cool. And select everyone. And it's kind of hard. This is why you have a camera rotation. I don't know why they didn't put a rotate camera on the base game. It doesn't make sense. All right, I think that's it for the map. Yep. All right. Come back over here. Pick us some edible moss. That's easy. Wow. Eggs. All kinds of good stuff. Now, yeah. All right. Okay. The Boggard Hunting Grounds. I think we're going to leave that alone for right this second. Nothing. Okay. There's the abandoned hut. I don't think we're ready for the abandoned hut yet, though, either. All your characters are fatigued. All right. Oh, I lost a button. Thus, the inevitable end of the world is seen even in the littlest of things. Ah, oh, damn it, I spoiled the hearty meal. This is pretty cool. Um, let's go this way. And we'll go down. Down. What could go wrong? Nice, don't you think? More strength fades. Ruins of an old temple. 
I'm hungry. When we stop. Oh, I guess we're stopping. Hey, I'm on a ration. I gotta hit the sack hungry tonight or what? Oh, take mine. I don't feel hungry today. Come on. Damn it. So close. Oh, damn it. I was hoping that's where we were supposed to be going. I get the feeling that we're just wandering around in circles. Old Mesa. Not what we're looking for. We'll come back and revisit that, though. Yeah, we don't need that right now. Oh, we can't. Uh-oh. Having reached the edge of the milky white blanket, we stopped. I've never seen a denser, thicker fog in all my life. Stretching my hand forward, I could hardly see the outline of my fingers. And if my arms were as long as my companions, I don't think I'd even see my elbows. We exchanged hesitant looks. It would be impossible to find one's way through the haze. One of us uh, used magic to analyze the fog. Let's do that. It was clear the gloom was of no unnatural origin, but who or what could have spawned such a thing? Uh, we tried to light our way with a torch. The fire colored the fog in only warm tones, but this did not improve the invisibility. Fortune favors the brave. Having formed a single line with our hands on each other's shoulders, we moved carefully forward. I think we're just going to turn around for now. <laughs> No, we're not resting. Stop. No, we're not resting. Blade in the Wilderness. This part of the Gnarl Marches is a place where wildlife thrives, being home to a variety of beasts. This attracts many hunters, but it scares off other travelers. Beast attacks are not rare in this area. I think we're gonna, <laughs> we are only level two. Uh-oh. Technic League's Mage, a group of well-armed fighters approaches. One of them raises their voice pointing at you. Hey, you stop right there. Kalana, look at this one. Will she do? The group's leader lays her cold and watchful eyes upon you. This one, I suppose, but I don't like her snout. Excuse me? She studies your companions carefully but nonchalantly as if examining goods at the market. Listen, you tramps, we're from the Technic League. Our slave died and we need a replacement. One of you will be coming with us. The rest of you are, uh, go, are free to go. I advise against resistance. It would be a quick trick to kill every one of you. Choose now the one that you will give. Um, screw this. I'm not negotiating with slavers. Yeah. All right. Archer, swordsman, swordsman. There it is. That's the guy we want. Any last wishes? All right, who's next? Me? Miss. Okay. 
Ah, oh, chicken shit, he bailed. Do not falter. A terrible mistake. Oh no! I've gone down. This is where I step in. All right. Um As a full round action, you can treat your allies' wounds. If you succeed at DC 20, Lord of Religion, when treating deadly wounds, you can restore hit points to damaged creature. Oh, that mage just got to go. I'm torn from continuing to watch or play it through myself. I'm killing what I liking what I see. Onward. And only half watching. I hear ya. Damn it. Spells that she have. She has hideous laughter. Oh, he saved. Damn it. Oh, shit. She's been frightened. Great, she ran off. Avenge me. Oh, I am so screwed. <laughs> well, thank you, Dan. Appreciate that. Serves you right. He almost dead. Oh, nice. Bring it. Ah, damn it. Come on. A critical hit. What a waste. Tear them apart. Come on. Yeah. There goes Harem. I always survive. Oh, my God. I don't know how far back this is going to take me. I need to get in the habit of quick saving more often. Oh, perfect.
Really? They are all they all went after me. Absolutely, Russ. They all went after me. Tear them apart. Repent. Ah. Let us strike as one. Oh. oh, I'm so screwed. Your life ebbs low. Do not fault up. All right, let's see here. Power attack, guarded stance. Let's turn that off. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Jimmy and Christmas, come on. Yeah, she's still bugged out. Oh my god. Yep. We're done. All right, hold on here. No, 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 no. Ah, shit. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. God, they all get to freaking attack. A terrible mistake. Wow. Why is it unavailable? I, I don't, un it, it's constantly not letting me do it. Me. 
Jesus. Wow. So sullen there, like a troll after starving for three days. <laughs> it's grumpy old harem. Alas, Lindsay, someone in this party of dreamers and make believers must be mindful of the eternal. <laughs> Yes, <clears throat> we're going to enter in here. The end draws near. Done with waiting. See if that works. Nice. That's one of them gone. The summoner. I need a moment to recover. Let us strike as one. This will probably screw up. Ah, I knew it was going to happen. And Lindsay's freaked. Oh, could be worse. And will be. Definitely will be. Um, let's see here.
this spell's purpose is different. Is that not charge? Repent. Nice. Uh, did you see him dodge? He's like, whoop. Attack of opportunity, love it. You deserved it. You may yet make it out of this. Oh shit. I may have spoke too soon. She got an attack of opportunity? Nice. Last wishes. What is this? Rage. Damn it. How much health does that guy have? Oh, he's almost dead. All right, Lindsay, finish it. Oh, shit. How did he die? That was crazy. The way seems clear. Oh, my God. That was fantastic. Wow, what a crazy battle that was. Long sword, long sword. Take that. Ooh, that's magical. We'll take that. Give the rest of it. Anything else? No. How in the hell do we get out of here? Be up here. Oh no, I was right the first time. I don't think we can rest here. Oh, maybe we can. This is what resting looks like when you're actually on a map. To victory. Oh. Great. What are we being attacked by? Oh. Ooh, a monitor lizard. What is that spell? Charge. Charge. It's not a freaking spell. There. That works. Okay, there's one more time. They should have known better. Nope. You cannot do it there. A shocker lizard. Wonderful. Look at how low everyone's health is. Your life ebbs low. 
Nothing to pick up there. All right, screw it. Let's get out of here. Yep. Clean. Leave. The insidious henchmen of the ominous Technic League have disappeared into the thick wilderness of the mysterious stolen lands, but not for long. Soon would be upon them. First, though, we'd have to pick up their trail. To do that, we tried to find anyone who could have seen these despicable people. I think World 15 might be our best shot here. Because I don't think I have Arcana 20. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to go Arcana. Yep. Nice. We Because I have, like, plus 12. We easily realized that the spell uh, Kalana used to flee had a small range, no further than 600 feet. We checked our surroundings in this range and quickly found the place she'd teleported to, as well as a trail leading from there. Inspired by our excess, we tried to find anyone. Woohoo! Succeeded again. More experience gained. This wilderness only seems deserted at first glance. Wandering around the area, we met a few mushroom gatherers and hunters who told us where they'd seen our quarry. We hadn't discovered the exact position of their camp. We were closing this. After this, we... Wow, we got all three of them. The henchmen of the ominous Technic League are truly insidious and the, sol and the stolen lands a mysterious thicket. But true heroes think nothing of such things. We easily picked up their trail of those scoundrels and soon found their camp. Wow. That was cool. So we found their camp. Wherever it... Oh, there's their camp. Okay. So let's continue. We really need to find a glade in the wilderness. Beast attack. I I need a place to camp. Ah, oh, crap. Me. What are we fighting? A might stone thrower. Really? Serves you right. Stay behind me. Wow. Oh, shit. Are there more? Yeah, there's another one. Where is he? Oh, there he is. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. You deserved it. Nice. We'll take the gold dagger. Take the gold. There we go. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, nope.
My instincts dull when I'm tired. I know. I'm hungry. When do I stop? The Tranquil River Bend. Hopefully it's tranquil. Gather that thing just fell over. Whose encampment is this? And Lindsay was called for it. Boggards. Not so tranquil. We can't camp here, and we can't fight. We've got nothing left. You know what? Let's give it a try. Huh? We'll do a quick save. Stay on your toes. Well, at least we get the first three attacks, huh? May I suggest another way to use this spell? No, nope, that's not gonna work. All right. There we go. Yeah, we're. Why is it that I never get to attack anything on the first damn round? Tear them apart! Avenge me. I'll oh my god! Survive. I always survive. What a miserable last chapter. Yes. Yeah, so screwed. That lost. Ah, no. Yep, um, we are not doing that. Sorry, chat. Yeah, we be out. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll take all this stuff. Masterwork Great Club? Sure. The light pick, not worried about that. The nunchuck! Alright, let's clean that. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, we are not prepared for that kind of a fight. More strength fades. I know. Let's try camping here, shall we? A 
I don't understand you. Damn it. I'm sorry. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. What are we fighting? Cut their throats. What the hell are you? Bandit. Okay. Bandit. Three bandits total. Where's the last one? Back here. Let us strike as one. Param, you're freaking useless. Serves you well. Ah, it worked. Nice. I wouldn't be dead. Onward. They go down. Your life ebbs low. Wow, nice. Good job, everyone. Um, no, no. Anything worth picking up up here? Just the bow? Alright. Let's clean the camp and leave. Man, all right. Damn it. Oh, well. Stinks dull when I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're tired. I get it. What are we fighting? Bandit Bard. And where's the other one? I'm not seeing the other one. Ah, over here. Okay. So I want to shut this guy down. And no, she can't make it to that one. Can she make it to this one? No, not even close. She gonna try and draw this guy's attention though. Got me with hideous laughter. Damn it. Bring it. 
Dang it! Kaya. Oh, this guy tried attacking and she totally like opportunity him. Opportunity? Something like that. Let us strike as one. Come on. <laughs> Aram's like, I swear, it looks like he's kicking him. Nice. What do we got here? Scroll of snowball. Long spear, chain shirts. <sighs> How the hell do I get out of here? All right. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. More strength fades. Yes, enter the Ford. Hoping because we've cleared this area already. We can camp. Do not be set aback by how quietly I keep to my thoughts. Come to me and I will discuss with you the frailty of life, the whisper of the night. The great god. Quietly keep your thoughts? You mean how you act like a coffin stuffer? No thanks. <laughs> Come on. Come on, cooking. Damn it. Got some healing action going on up in here, though. That's pretty good. I mean, she's... I am your shield. Belt. There. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go Over here. And then our leader charged forwards. Hey, wait for me. We got. Bandit Illusionist. Where's the other one? Ah, Bandit Cleric. He's dazed. Nice. Oh, that was. Brutal. Down! 
Nice. What do we got? Anything good? Light crossbow, breastplate. That's medium armor. Take that. Scroll of enlarged person, light crossbow. All right, clean, leave. Oak that strayed. This lonely oak in the heart of Pine Grove looks like a wandering stranger in a foreign land. We should gather our strength. All right. My instincts dull when I'm tired. I know everyone's tired. Listen, there's well, since you dispatched the bandage, so maybe you can help with another problem. There's a feral swine living here in the woods, not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar. As big as a bear and wicked as the devil, the locals call him Tusk Gutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Beckel Benzin found his lair and went to kill the beast, but came back with one leg. He put a bounty on the boar's head, but it looks like there aren't any heroes around here bold enough to claim it. Maybe you will rid us of this monster. Miri livens up, hey, we're better than the local wussies, right? Wanna bet I can chop off the tusk gutter snout with a single swing? Come on, let's find out. Um, all right, let's go kill this tusk gutter. This feels like, uh, since she came running over, this feels like, like a little personal quest thing for her, so that's cool. Oleg, I'm trying to talk to you. Don't be rude. Um, show me your wares. All right, offer 166, not bad. Uh, let's sell that. We already have one upstairs, so we'll sell that as well. A dueling sword eh, sells for five. I don't know why I picked the damn thing up. An estoc. What the hell is this? Ah, it's an exotic proficiency group. Sells for 600 gold, though. Hell yeah, I'm selling that. Nunchuck, also an exotic. 2,075 gold. Oh my god. Sell it. <laughs> a heavy flail, sell it. What is this? Longsword plus one. Hold on to that. Masterwork, great club. 100. Masterwork, longbow. Uh, no, sell it. A scimitar plus one. We may hold on to that one. I'm going to hold on to this armor really quick because I want to make sure that no one else can wear it. Ring of protection. Yeah, we're definitely not selling that. All right. 3,184 gold. 
They were flaming nunchucks? Are you kidding? Oh, how did I miss that? I would have trained in exotic proficiency as a sorcerer to just like have flaming nunchucks. <laughs> hey, but look at that. We're over 5,000 gold. All right. Um, I think we're going to... Um, oh, we wanted to check out our inventory. I wanted to check... Um, our dear girl here. So she's got a masterworks, but we've got a plus one. Or she could use the scimitar. The scimitar does one die six plus one or one die eight plus one. Well, obviously, I'd want to go with the one die six. Yeah, six to 13 damage, six to 11 damage. So we'll give this one to her. And she's wearing banded mail. That's scale mail. That's a breastplate. So banded mail is heavy armor. Those are both medium. What is she wearing? Hide armor? Let's see here. Um, armor check penalty, max dexterity. I don't know if scale mail is something that a barbarian can actually do. I think I'm going to get her out of barbarian, though. I think I want to make her a two-handed uh, fighter. Um, yeah. What's this? Oh, that's Svetlana's wedding ring. Max dexterity of three. Let's put that on her. All right, and I think that's it. We can, uh, we're going to hold on to the scimitar just in case. Definitely sell this. Oh, no, not that. Written orders. No, we're holding on to that. All right. Let's go talk to Svetlana. The way seems clear. Um, hope you're feeling all right after the battle. Can't thank you enough. Here's your ring. I suppose I should tell you the truth about her. Kressel wasn't her real name. Her real name is Irina before all this. She was the daughter of my mother and her second husband, my half-sister. I can't help but feel like everything that's happened to her was my fault. She always had a wildness to her. She'd wander the streets hanging out in a bad with a bad crowd till the day she passed. Mother complained about Irina constantly. Back then, it was just cruel games and strange escapades. She never really hurt anyone back in Rostov. Her father didn't live much longer than our mother, so I decided to try and help Irina, but I brought her here to the Stolen Lands, though Oleg was against it, and once here, she immediately fell under the Stag Lord's influence. She never even needed to meet him. The stories and rumors from local hunters and bandits was enough to win her over. She would tell us how he was a real leader, unlike Restov's softies. Eventually, she ran away, only to return under a new name with a pack of thugs to collect taxes from us. What's worth, she participated in the torture and execution of prisoners alongside the Stad of Lord's minions. I don't know if there's any real way to set her back on the right path, but I'm grateful for your kindness. Perhaps there's still hope. For the sake of my mother's memory, I'd like to believe that. Item received... Camping supplies and rations times 10, 45 experience. Wow, that's, I, wow, I'll take the rations. Heck yeah. That's awesome. And we don't really need to, um, to rest. 
I mean, I'm looking at my spells. I used one of each. I think we're okay to go back out. But I'm going to do a hard save here. And we'll say end of stream one. And we are going to call it a night. I want to thank everyone for coming and hanging out. Um, I don't know. Dull when I'm tired. Oh, okay. So maybe we do. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we do need to rest for fatigue. Um, why are you walking that way? Don't be stupid. Tomorrow, um, I will be streaming more of this. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my, um, my stream schedule on the discord or not. But since uh, Sunday is Easter, I'll be spending time with family and stuff like that. Um, I'm not doing any streaming on Sunday, so I figured I would stream tomorrow. So make sure to check that. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys, as always, for coming and hanging out. Dan, you can now go focus 100% on Valheim. Russ, thanks for lurking, buddy. As always, I appreciate it. And to whoever the third person is, I'm not sure exactly who it is. But um, thanks, guys. Have a great night. And until next time, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Drake Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.